Sweet Holly culture. Gotta talk to the culture. Yeah. Greatest remarks on the net. They gon' have to give us respect. Yeah. Cause we highly culture. Welcome back to the highest podcast in the motherfucking world. <laughs> Ooh, you niggas in trouble. Man, y'all know what the fuck it is, but in case y'all forgot, I am your host, Lee! <laughs> Call up for me, bitch! Y'all know who it is. It's your man, Phoenix, back in the building. And it's the one and only Rai Rai. Yeah. <laughs> what is this, my Two episodes in a row, nigga. Look at him showing up. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Showing initiative. Initiative. Uh, uh, improvement. Most improved podcaster. Right. Yeah. Right, that nigga said I'm the most improved podcaster. That's that's hard. That's a hard. That's a hard title. Yeah, that's a hard title. I ain't gonna lie. Most improved podcaster. We over here smoking like Wiz today. I forgot the rap. It's my fault. It's cool. I forgot it the rap. It is fine. We, don't, we didn't still have some tucked. I thought we had a stash. Nah, we used them that one time when we uh, forgot. We started bringing raps over and hiding them from you in a secret area over there. That's stupid. Why would y'all hide them? From because you will smoke them when we're not and here. And they won't be here. And then you need raps every time we come here. So we hid them so we had raps when we were here. We didn't have to keep stopping to bring them here. That's what you do for your friends. We hiding shit from you. We're helping you. You hide shit from me. We helping you. You're high. You're not helping me at all, nigga. Because if I'm sitting here, because that means if we were helping the pilot, we goddamn so sure was helping. When I ran out of blunts, when I ran out of blunts, I had to go to the fucking store and spend my own hard-earned money to buy some new blunts. When I could have just looked around the house and found the blunts that you motherfuckers hid and used those instead of spending my motherfucking money, right? Yes, yes basically. Yeah. Man, fuck y'all niggas, man. Well, Yo, fuck man if you smoking solo, man. you riding to the fucking store, bro. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. Fuck both y'all, nigga, man. I tell you what. Stop That's it. just what it is. Fuck hey, both y'all, nigga, man. So. Y'all niggas ain't shit, man. But how y'all doing? Man, we good. Good, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all hyped up off of the Halloween candy I got the other night. Oh, there man, you go. I have been eating my kids' candy paws all weekend. Yeah. Man. They don't deserve it. Is it wrong that I was looking through their bag for fentanyl? Like I was actually looking no, through their no, candy. You should. You absolutely should look through your kids' candy. You never oh, know. Okay. But if you're looking for, for personal use. Especially like use, the little party no. packs that they got, no. like the, the milk duds and the sucker. No, nah, I'm checking that shit. Yeah, I understand that you gotta uh-uh. I understand you gotta check your kids' candy. But like, like, okay, if you come across some fentanyl, nigga, okay, like <laughs> Nigga, you might die your fucking self. Now your I kids did. ain't got nobody oh, to no, support that, their ass. That candy's in the dirt now. That, as soon as I open that, you know, I scroll, look through the bag, you know what I mean? If I see, you know, oh, what's this powdery substance in here? This bag's done. I found someone's fucking mixtape in my motherfucking child's That's candy, fire. bro. That's oh, fire. Yeah. You gotta give it up it to the rappers. You gotta give it up. Saw that, that shit was trash. Oh, he gave me a single. He gave me the, 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 the CD, like the promo CD for the radio. That's I had fire. to go to my mom's house because she got a CD player. I don't even got a CD player no more. The thing is, you USB. actually went and Played that motherfucker. Well, I was curious. curious at that point. I was curious. What, what do you mean? Great. I'm definitely. I'm definitely. Yo, know, if I if my kid actually brings home somebody's mixtape, I'm. I gotta see. Hell no. It nigga. was what terrible. What if it's on fire? No, it was. A, it what was a if trash it was ass. a fucking curse? Well, it wasn't. Like, it, what man. if you played that shit and it was some devil? Like, like the ring, reverse. Like the ring video. The video. Yeah. Oh my you god. You niggas is this? curious as fuck. But you got seven mixtapes. Oh my right, god. Nigga. You got seven days to live, bitch. Like, what if that's what you heard? You got seven days to live, and that's it. That's it. I'm what if they said you just got till the Carter that shit eight? Was trash. Like and then. Oh, I'm good. You were good. You good I'm for good. at least the next six years because he's still still stuck on Carter six and not dropping that on time. So. Jeez. Man. And then all of a sudden, that nigga Wayne said, "You know what? I'm just gonna drop all that shit." Yeah. And then he dropped the a deluxe. You know like he six, just seven, dropped eight. twelve of them. Right. Because there's a reason. Day. Because there is a reason why this nigga on this goddamn mysterious goddamn CD said. 
the Carter Eight. Yeah, and it's like it's got to be a reason he said that shit, right? That means the Carter Eight's about to drop soon, nigga, and <laughs> so will you. <laughs> Same time. Yeah, so, could be a day, so could whoever, be a year. whoever put that mixtape in my child's candy, I'm coming for your ass. Count your motherfucking days, nigga. Stop oh, it. Get some help. Get some help. I'm excited. Uh, I'm back on Beat Stars today, by the way. Hey. I'm back on Beat Stars today. You better win, nigga. <laughs> you better no, fucking no win. If, if, if you lose, we're kicking you off the you fucking podcast. You better fucking win. First of all, you can't kick nobody off we're the podcast. Off, you, ain't you, been, lose, you, ain't, you ain't showing up here in a month. That you I don't lose, hear. We don't accept losers. No. Right. I wasn't losing where I was at. Mm, was that's winning. arguable. You had no winning. weed while you was out there. I was winning. Nigga, you was out there trying. You was out there dodging the whole goddamn hurricane. Fuck you, me, Nigga, you was trying to stay alive. in the eye of the storm. Out the Chase fucking smoking gators. Newports because there's no right. weed there. Bored that as hell. Was, that shit was, shit was terrible. No, I definitely wasn't bored. I was tired as hell. Yeah. Did you? Hey, did you go to any of those titty bars out there? I didn't go to no titty bar. Damn, nigga, I, you had a. You, oh no one wanted to go, man. We we went to a couple of clubs though. Go by yourself. You ain't never went to a strip club by yourself. Honestly, no though, Loki, it's creepy to go by. I didn't yourself. have no. No, it no ain't. The fuck it ain't. Yeah, you a weirdo if you no, go it by. Ain't. You just go Why? by yourself. No, it ain't. What? Yes. And, and then it's then it's creepy all together then to go if that's the case. No, no, no. Go on it's with not your friends. creepy. You you're going to have drinks. You're going out. You're having a good time. It's just a night out. If I go to a strip club, I'm gonna go, by myself. I'm gonna sit down. Let me get some wings. Let me get a double. You are a target. You're a target. What? If you walk into a strip club and you sit down there by yourself, you are a target. Oh, yeah. The bitches are gonna be on your ass. Any mm. nigga that could just walk up in here, sit in here by himself, that means he walked all the bitches to himself, nigga. So he must got money. True. You, 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 That's what I'm saying, right? You, you, you're not wrong. You're not That's wrong what I'm saying. There. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can go to the movies by yourself. Either that or, motherfucker, you don't get robbed leaving that bitch because you, you by get, yourself. Yeah, you by yourself. I knew this dude, this collection, uh, Carlson and I used to work at. Every day on lunch, he would go to the strip club just to have a beer and just see some titties on lunch and then go back to work after Bro, an hour. Bro, I don't blame him, nigga. Beer and titty, beer and booze. I don't fucking blame him at all. That's an Oscar? Bro. I don't know. I've just never been... I've never been like, oh, I need to go to the strip club. It's cool. Like, I just it's a waste of money. So Bro, it's a party good. starter. That's what you got to think of. Yeah. But if if the strip club is right down the street or right across the street from the job, why nigga, not? I'm taking my lunch at the strip club every day, nigga. I guess that's Bro, that seems that seems that seems weird. How often do you get to see titties midday, and pussy listen, and ass? The on midday your lunch crew break can't be nice. Beer. The midday crew, the, the business gets up to go to work at the strip club at, tw- at to Christie's. Titties are at titties, 12 bro. in the afternoon titties is not going to be what you're looking for, I promise you. Titties. Yeah, but you get the early pussy, though. You get the early. It's not good pussy. That's the desperate titties, pussy. Titties, bro. Uh, no, that's nah. the, no, no, that's, that's the, you know. No, that's the, no, that's just the pregame no, the pussy. morning the, crew is not the good. The pregame no, the mor- the morning crew, that, that's the bitches that actually uh, ain't got no fucking life at all. They're, just, they're just there because. Like, they're that, there that's to a make their ten dollars. They knocking their rust off, but hey, but at the same time, it's still titties, lips, and ass. I'm it's still tits and ass. I'm not mad at and, that. And, and a I picture of beer. Yeah, but that's only if you go to the twenty one and up, which there's no pussy at that one. There's just yeah. well, he wanted to see titties, so titties, still titties. Yeah, it's titties still a ass. bro. I went on my lunch break and got has and, and, and some bitch motorboat on the, my lunch break. Getting motorboated on your lunch break? What? You not with that? I don't. I don't even. Like so what the you have for uh, uh, what you have club. for lunch, Lee? Wings and pussy. <laughs> see, see how and cool strip, that sounds. Strip club be that having fun. for some reason. Strip clubs be having fire ass food, I nigga. Oh never God, nigga. Strip clubs have fire wings. I've Pink never Rhino, club. Pink never. Rhino has fire tacos, nigga. Oh God, it's Every- never been on my mind while I'm in the other. Yo, I don't want to get what? some food here. I've just never, I've oh, never. This nigga ain't never lived. We gotta I, take this nigga to the I fucking would say strip majority club. Of the the strip club. No, I mean, I mean, take you to the strip club, strip club. Like actually, that even mean? actually, actually, fucking do something other than a just put fucking strip club on a uh, money night. in these bitches' guard belt, nigga. I don't like to put money in. That. I'm not doing that, nigga. I was. I buy drinks. I want a bitch to do a front flip and land her fucking ass on the and have a good time. Hang around my friends you know what I mean I'm not I really don't give a fuck about strip club oh personally man I was nigga I'd be I'd there be, it's cool like whatever I'd be I'd be in the strip club sucking farts out of bitches asses nigga oh my mama I was nigga. at the strip club when I found out my dad died that might be why like I got that's a call I got when I was there so maybe that's why I was drunk as fuck oh, leaving yeah. your dad's dead <laughs> yeah it was, it was dick hard as fuck your dad's dead no. Yo, that is the worst what, time. I wasn't, hey, on, is he, is I wasn't in the actively. She's talking about, what's wrong, out. daddy? 
Uh, I ain't got one. <laughs> I ain't got no daddy. I ain't got no daddy. <laughs> I ain't got no daddy. Oh, oh my God. She's like, damn, that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> that shit gonna be about two hundred oh more dollars, my, my nigga. So even more of a reason we have to go to a strip club and recreate a good memory for my boy Phoenix. Oh God, nigga, we have yeah. to, bro. And you know what? Like these strippers don't give no fucks, nigga. It's still twenty dollars a dance. It's twenty dollars a song. Oh yeah, dude. it's twenty dollars. It's my. It, you know, it might be more than that now. I don't know. I haven't been in quite some time. Hey, do you get free dances on Father's Day if you're a father? Nigga, ain't no such no. thing as a free dance in a strip free club. Free dance. Ain't no such thing as a free dance in a strip club. You're not club. running buy one and get you one. Motherfucking there. lie. No. No. It's not. Because if you ain't paying, all your homeboys is paying. You got to pay to get in that motherfucker. That's on them. You can't even like. When you go to the strip club, like you can't even sit in the front, like you can't even sit like at the stage without throwing some money on the stage. Yeah, yeah. well, you don't. They want will to. tell you, you to don't get the fuck to. out or go to the back. Yeah, what are you doing? You, you lame up here. Go go right, to the back if nigga, you want to be a pervert. What? what the fuck, nigga? <laughs> oh man, take your perverted ass to the back. Oh, man. I just want to be up close and personal. Man. I didn't even mean to do that, but. Shout out to the new listeners, shout out to the non listeners, but most importantly, shout out to the Highly Culture Click. <laughs> Tune in each and every dang, dang. motherfucking week. Twice y'all week. could be listening to anything else in the world, but y'all chose to listen to us, man. We love the fuck out of y'all for that. Too, You're man. a dummy, bitch. Oh you my will God. never know shit. Out of pocket don't nobody for that want shit. you, don't nobody need you. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? What do you gain? Idiots. But like, share, subscribe. Uh highlyculturedpod.com for the merch. merch. Buy it. Highly cultured pod on Instagram. Highly cultured pod on fucking YouTube. It's highly cultured pod every motherfucking way. You listen to podcast, nigga. We God a, damn it! We got a highly cultured OnlyFans coming soon. Oh what? god, we about to have bitches up in here munching, nigga. Oh god. It's never gonna happen. You thought you think we playing? That bitch a munch. What you mean? That nigga? bitch is a munch. That bitch, for lunch. man, we about to have some munches in this motherfucker. Crunch and my girl said it's cool. My hey. girl said it's cool. My girl said that's it's cool. Up. My girl said it's cool. Uh, <laughs> that's all you I need. Asked my, I asked my girl uh, for permission anytime that other women is involved. Right. And she was like, anything yeah. that I'm doing. Yeah. Of course. You can do that. Babe, can we have some bitches dance on our pod naked? Oh, yeah, sure, baby. Just for the pod. Yeah, just make sure the kids aren't there, right? That's the only right. stipulation. Yeah. Wait, 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 which is, is logical. Toxic. Your love is toxic. Honestly, a, a naked Your bitch would fit. Is... Just, just have them just, just, just have them just like, you know what I'm saying, throwing that brown booty hole around. You know what I'm saying? Just throwing that shit, just throwing that ass in a circle while we sit here and talk for two and a half hours. Brown, even, brown and round. Hey, now we don't have any YouTube for this. And on my mama, on whatever episode, it's going to be called Brown and Round Volume 132. Wait a minute. Yeah, you can't you can't put that on YouTube. Why not? What? You can't put you can't put ass and titties on YouTube. What do you oh, mean? Oh shit, we just won't post it on YouTube. Put that shit on Twitter. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Put that shit on Twitter and Instagram where they love they call it brown booty holes. Titters. I love titters. Titters? Yeah, that's what Twitter. That's what they call it. Is. Twitter? Been, titters? Yeah. Soapy titties? I've been watching. Oh, I fucking watching. love oh soapy God, titties. I love soapy titties, nigga. Oh my motherfucking God. Shout out to all you bitches out there that wash up. <laughs> Shout out to all you scrubber dubs. <laughs> Speaking of scrubber dub, man, I'm gonna kick my son ass. That little fat little motherfucker, like he squeezed toothpaste into my body wash. <laughs> <laughs> oh he my said, oh, god! Did that burn? God, nigga, no, it don't hurt. Oh, In no. your fucking body wash? Yeah. He was trying to be creative. He was trying to. He was a a, a mad scientist. Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing, little nigga? He was bored. Yeah. <laughs> He he Fuck always you, Dad. yeah. Tyree ass always into some shit. He's the he's the stick of fork in the fucking outlet, baby. He he's one of them. He curious. He's one of fucking them. He got he got fucking his his mom's makeup all over his face. He got right. you know and you know makeup is hard to clean up. Yeah, you gotta have like baby oil or some shit just to fucking rub it rubbing out. Like, yeah, like 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 makeup wipes, soft it or some shit. We yeah. use baby wipes. Like, like that, like walk around yeah, it's, it's like fun. wet wipes. Yeah. Corrosive. Yeah. So I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower. I'm like, why the fuck do I smell like brushed teeth? Like, what the fuck is this? Smell the goddamn body wash, nigga. It's blue shit on top smell of like the Colgate. Yeah, extra like whitening. Yeah, I smell like fluoride, nigga. Armpits smell like scope. 
Right. I know I'm clean as fuck though. I'm clean as fucked up. Your armpits probably burn though. You put that mint on your fucking armpits. No, my ass teeth is white as fuck right now. I feel it. I can just feel it. I can feel that fluoride working its way through the crevices of, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's getting it's getting in there. It's in there. It's in there. Ah, it's in there. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. How was y'all week? What uh, what uh, what y'all got outside of you got this uh, battle coming up uh, yes, today, nigga? Today. You yeah. better fucking win, you better dude. Win. Listen, man. Everybody, go to Twitch and follow Beat Stars. Yeah, that we this can watch nigga this Phoenix man dismantle all the rappers that think they can rap. This nigga Phoenix is supposed to be murdering somebody live. There's on execution. Beat stars. Execution again. live stream. Set Let's for, rephrase uh, that again. Again, nigga. How many weeks? Uh, How many weeks? Again. Four. So this is round one. Winner of this. They have like a little bracket they sent us of who we're going against. So uh, it's me and TYG this week. Um, the younger and then TYG. Next week it'll be me versus someone tug else. Tug your genitals. That's what that's, that's <laughs> just an acronym for. Tug your genitals. The young girl. Oh, it's, oh, the young, you're going up against no, it's a, a, girl? No, it's a, no, it's a man. Oh, it's, oh, it's a man. Yes, it's a, it's a whole person from Jersey. Yeah, it's a man from Jersey. Toy with your giblets. He's like a kid. I would say I was a man. He's like, he like 25, probably. I don't know. No, he's a know. little, a little ass nigga. He little. I can't say. So, he too little. Hey, he too little, nigga. He too little. Oh God. Say it. Say yeah, I did say that in the rap. You too little, nigga. How, hold on, nigga. You too little to be in this motherfucking. Did you get permission from your parents to participate <laughs> you right. in this motherfucking battle, nigga? So the last dude oh. had to drop out because his boss from TJ Maxx said he couldn't show up. Damn. That was, yeah, that was Banks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it was TJ Maxx. Yikes. Yeah, they said, there's been no, some nigga. there's been some dropouts. There's been some rebirths. You know they're bringing that man Champ back for the third time, so. We'll yeah, see what happens up, with that. Yeah, so um, <laughs> he's he a zombie rapper. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, my kid's been fucking off at school and uh, getting like sexual harassment charges and doing weird shit. So, yo, what? That's not been a very pleasant uh thing for me. Yes, the the, the dude thinks he's bound. So I guess there's this anime thing to where there's a goofy ass dude be doing some weird shit and poking people and they fucking ass crack with a triangle. Anime fans, I guess you know what this is. He decided to do that shit. They're all doing it in their fucking circle of uh, uh, friends, right? Circle. Circle. All right. Circle is a circle. Not like that, but yeah. <laughs> so he got in trouble for doing that. So he's on a five-day suspension. He comes home oh. today. And mind you, the whole time I'm in Florida, the superintendent is on judgment call for this situation. So I get back. Oh, so he's a you district were problem. not here. Yes. Bro, you see how kids act when daddy's not around? That's why it is, it, it is imperative. For dads to be in their kids' life. Because otherwise they're gonna be running around aspect. the fucking school playing with other kids' assholes. Pretty much. He poked him in his ass crack, he said. I, I said, I said, I said, I said, you tell me exactly what you did. <laughs> poked that ass in a circle. He said, tell me exactly they what you did. They just like line up in a circle. Word by word, tell me word exactly what you did. It's like a Google how to fucking deal with this shit. How to deal with this bullshit. I'm about to take you on fucking Mori or some shit. Because I don't no know more, how to deal with this. You about no, to get boot camp. No more Naruto. No. No more Dragon Ball Z. They done. No more no Attack Fortnite. on Titan. No more right. One Punch Man. Right. No One Punch Man. Oh, no. One Poke Man. Oh my God! No more Pokemon. And then, and then uh, today he got in trouble Pokemon. for uh, Pokemon. <laughs> today he got in trouble for doing the whole fucking like suck dick. Uh, all right, you know. All right, all right. That's enough. All right, that's enough. I think we got it. We got it. We got it. Your, pro your child's you a problem with the district, right? You went to Florida. Your child turned into Jay from Big Mouth. Yes. That's crazy though. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm about to, so I gotta go home and punch him. He said, yeah, right. You gotta go home and beat his ass. Gotta go. You gotta beat it out of him. That's the only way. That is the only way I gotta punch to the, cure I, pervert, no, I'm just pervertism. Don't beat I'm your just kids. playing. No, I'm don't not gonna beat, beat him, but no, don't, he's don't definitely gonna get punished, man. Like I don't yeah. understand what the fuck he was thinking doing that shit. That nigga, you gonna have a nigga write a? Uh, uh, we just say he had to write a two hundred two hundred word essay on why you ain't poking motherfuckers in the ass no I more. I will not play with other dudes' asses. Dudes, bums I will are gross. not play with other dudes' asses. I'm gonna have I will not play with other dudes' asses. Oh hey Janine, I wouldn't even I didn't even see you there. God yeah. damn it. These kids always show up. They my kids always show up <laughs> when I say the most explicit shit. I yeah, I I, I, uh, I like, swear to God. Look, like that, what I said, you hey, I, like, you know how um 
You know how one dude, uh, dad in Big Mouth, how he talked to his wife about giving her like savage cunnilingus? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, get your ass upstairs. It. it is time to eat. That's how I talk to my girl, nigga. I talk to my girl like that. And for, for some odd fucking reason, every time I say something like that, my kid is like right there. Kiara is like making food or like, and you're like in the middle of playing Roblox. Like, dad, I'm right here. I'm right here. Like. That's why I said my kids gonna end up. They gonna end up being podcasters. They are gonna end up being comedians. They're gonna end up being in. Uh, in my, our, oh my! My kid is definitely gonna be something because he he doesn't he knows way too much already. Bro, we are the funniest generation, bro. And they are they are, they just watching our stupid ass. They watching our stupid ass. So they gonna hopefully like back not be then. Dumb. Like back then, watching your fucking parents do drugs was traumatizing. Now they're just like, oh shit, shit. Now they doing drugs with their kids. Like right. shit, shit. Put this up. Tie your arm up. I remember when my parents used to like send us to a room. They were just drinking wine, like, just like, like as a as a table, like a family unit. Like you're like like five or six. Like I right, go to your room, and they're just at the table drinking wine. And they're not even crazy, nigga. You don't bro. Wine is <laughs> no. I bro, know about wine. Oh Listen, God, when I drink I know wine, about, I know nigga, about oh, wine. I get bricked up drinking wine, nigga. Oh, I be horny. I don't even want it. <laughs> I didn't need to know that. They got be. That wine creep I up on you. I sniff the glass and all sorts. See, look, see, look. I'm sitting there talking about wine and 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 and, and bitches and shit. Look, and my kids come out of nowhere. My kids just come out of look, nowhere. Wine definitely makes the uh, bitches horny for sure. Oh God, nigga. Oh Cause, God. Because it's not this like uh, wet. it's not it's not this over over like zealous like fucking vodka or fucking like extreme henny or well, that shit extreme. It's not a beer. You, that shit that shit slip. Like that's no, just but it's, it's like not. Late. Yeah, it just, has the ability to, but it's not. It doesn't have that like the image. You know like what wine, I mean? like, if you just sit tasteful, down and drink it's wine, classy. You know what I mean? If you just sit down and drink wine and don't get up for a while, you may not realize how drunk you are. Too. You motherfucking yeah, stand that up. That shit sneak up. All of a sudden, <laughs> that shit punch you in the mouth and go, yeah. like, "Yo, you drunk as fuck right it now." It's like I ain't know why. Right. I'm this to me right now. Let that it stop wine, working, bro. I believe wine gets you. I, like wine gets me drunker than like regular alcohol. One hundred percent. Oh God. Right, nigga, Bastard. and that should last longer. That's the shit that be yeah. having me slurred, and you know what I'm saying, like talking out my ass and shit, talking crazy, drunk dialing baby mamas and shit. Like, why we ain't make it work, right? <laughs> you had a whole like visual in your head, real quick. Why, 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 why we could, why we couldn't work? It wasn't even that bad, was it? It wasn't even that bad, shit. Like Lee, you cheated on me 17 times, but you couldn't, yeah, you bitch. Why you counting? So you couldn't stand eighteen, or like what's right. going on? Like, like what's going on? You let that, you let that nigga Terry fuck. You let that nigga Terry fuck, nigga. That's Terry. like twenty. That's like that's like twenty motherfuckers. That's like twenty niggas. And he a whore. Terry. Right, that nigga's Terry's a whore. A name. Terry's a whore. I and and the reason why your that. parents, the reason why your parents said take your ass to the rooms, because nigga, hey, it gets nasty when motherfuckers is off that wide, nigga. Niggas oh, off that Perry, that go to the room. That what's that called? That uh, that uh, that Rose? Uh, Rossi. The, or, it's rosé. Rosé. It's rosé. Champagne. Champagne. It's champagne. Okay, rosé. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were talking oh. about. I thought we were talking about wine because that's Rossi. Oh. Well, there's definitely oh. the there's a bunch of different type of wines. Although that's yeah, that's cheap oh. fucking. Free Britney Griner. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we yeah. said that yet. We didn't. We Free did it. Free Griner. Free stutter. Fuck you talking about? Free surf, nigga. Free poo shiesty. Man. Free money, nigga. Free bands. Free bands, free bands, free bands. Free bands. Free bands. All right, man. We uh, we lighten up the mood a bit. Yeah. Uh, But we're going to have to bring it down, man. We're going to have to bring the mood down because, unfortunately, we Gotta have to. report on some yeah. bullshit that happened. For real. That's. That shocked the Which community. one of y'all saw it first? Which one of y'all hit the he group chat it. first? He did. So Phoenix wasn't the death whisperer this time because this nigga, yeah. this nigga yeah, know about everybody. Time, he know right. about every rapper that died. I woke up to that shit and it was the worst thing to wake oh up to. Oh my god! I, I, I didn't want to send up. it, but I had to. You know what I mean? Like I had to. Like yeah. I, I see, I, cause I seen it early. Like I woke up and it was like five twenty, and I was like, take off dead. It was, it was, it was, it was on my notifications of YouTube. They had already made a video for it. I woke up in shock. That shit woke me. Out of my sleep, like you know how you yeah. wake up and you That's be like, wild, you like, you like, I even have time to stretch. I said, what? They're like you bolt. Like, Hold on a second. You, am I reading that right? Take off. It was twenty eight, bro. Oh my god. Take the most off. low key in the group. The most chill. The out most the relaxed. Way. Out the way. I'm just here to get my. 
bread. That's unk. And chill. Unk. That's, that's few. Oh, that's few? Yeah. No, he's unk. He's Quavo's uncle. <coughs> no, you know he's what? not. It's not the other way around. Quavo is. is his uncle. Because he's the younger one, and I remember it being weird like that. No, he, uh, no, I, no. I, I, it, he, he, told, he told Quavo to get into rapping. He's unk. No, he's not. Oh, but maybe, maybe by by. Uh, he's literally Quavo's nephew. By nickname, is, yes, but is, by one hundred percent his like actual, actual nephew. Yeah. Anyway, Uncle take off, take off was take off was killed. Yeah. Take off was killed at a fucking dice game in that, Houston in a bowling alley upstairs that he wasn't even involved in. He wasn't even involved in. I mean, he was there with. He was Quavo. just there though, but he wasn't like I'm, he wasn't playing. He, he wasn't, wasn't involved. He wasn't in even altercation. involved in the altercation that caused it. Yeah, yeah. Because yes. there was there was two altercations. There were you know supposedly he got took for some money Quavo, and then it carried on. So that Quavo was getting his ass beat, getting his ass dice. bust. So not people dice. get when you losing money. Regardless yeah. of how much you you, you get to, you get you upset. You get tight, especially you know those dudes who get real upset. You know, stakes you start are talking high. Shit. Most of the nigg- niggas you playing with rich. <clears throat> we're talking hella bands, like hundreds it's, of thousands of, it's of dollars. bitches over here. It's bitches around. Right. Bad bitches, so you know niggas is charged up. You know niggas talk real spicy when it's over. You know, a, nigga. you know a regular motherfucker love to take some money from a rapper. Oh God! Oh yeah, I, oh, I, I hit Quavo's pockets for da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, that's a story now for that person. Yeah, because I saw TMZ was uh, uh, released a video that Quavo was arguing about arguing with some nigga about playing basketball. Nigga probably was like, nigga, you probably suck. He probably was saying the niggas trash. You no, know, they just as soon as you get to talking shit, you just get to talking shit about everything immediately, yep. and so it escalated from there, um, and then. It, from what I think what one of the text messages that supposedly was from somebody that was there was that um, someone who was with uh, Quavo and Takeoff fired their weapon and accidentally hit uh, Takeoff in the neck. As right. Well as, uh, those people he was trying to shoot at returned fire and also hit, um, hit Takeoff. And he was in the middle of that shit, he a, he was in a crossfire, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just And it was arguing over some bullshit. It was some bullshit. It was at a dice game. It was extremely fucking stupid. It was inside, so what could have really could have happened, like But that but but that's the thing. Not like like I used to back then I used to think like when I used to hear about stories, cause niggas this ain't the first time like people get shot at and killed in dice games. Like dice games get like that. Any anything that you do that involves money, any game that you play that involves money, like you could die. Or just simply a dice game, yeah. just being a dice game, bro. Like, there's a lot of pride in that shit. Motherfuckers don't know, bro. Yes. Right. Niggas is talking shit. You, you say yeah. killer season. You talk, they talking shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was talking shit. He was up on that nigga flea. He said, he said no, nah, I said five. He said, he saw 500. He said, no, nah, I said five. So, okay. You heard me, nigga. You, you heard, heard me, me, nigga. He said, okay. He walked away, grabbed the bottle. Ah, bottle of scissors over right head. Right his head. He said, no homo. Stomped him out. No and homo. then pissed on that nigga. But I digress. Um, This is extremely unfortunate you know this is like takeoff was the last rapper you expected in the game that i expected to get shot or be involved in senseless gun violence you said it right senseless senseless niggas start arguing over fucking basketball and then shots let off bro no lebron ain't the greatest kobe the greatest it's just emotions. Some people they let their their emotions take over. What it is? It's pride. That's what it is. <laughs> and and the fact that Lord, do I do I even dare say the story uh, happens to go that Wavo's side is is the, is the person that <coughs> returned fire or, or, or started yeah, firing. Yeah, so said, yeah, he was the one. <laughs> so yeah. if, if that story is right, if that, if that report's right, I'm, I'm going off that logic. So I'm going to say. You could have de-escalated the situation, and you made it what it was. But but that's see that but that's the that's the difference between you hiring your homeboys or you know hood niggas mm-hmm. to be your security as opposed to hiring professional security. But at the same time, just because he shot first doesn't mean he didn't he didn't peep the situation. And might maybe he that's what had to have happened, and it was a mistake. But why are you shooting that, first if they not shooting? But maybe they were drawn. Maybe it right. Maybe he peeped something. He, right. He, he peeped the. So movement. we weren't there, so we can't never we can't right. necessarily we say right. for no, sure. But that's no just what I was knows, saying. Yeah. That, that was my theory. An eyewitness said takeoff was killed by a straight bullet that stemmed from an argument between Quavo and some random nigga. Quavo was arguing with this nigga about basketball, blah, blah, blah. From mob ties. And takeoff was, yeah, from mob ties. It was actually uh, Jay Prince's uncle who swung on Quavo, which caused Migo Bands, Quavo's older brother, to start shooting, accidentally shooting takeoff. Damn. Crazy, man. Takeoff was the coolest nigga in the game, bro. And 
That's crazy. You can still be out the way, quiet, to yourself, never in the fucking headlines for anything, and you can still die. Yeah. Since to anybody, get, you can day. still get shot in the fucking head, bro. It could be anybody any day. And and I, I saw a lot of people talking about, you know what I'm saying, like, oh, he needs to move differently. He needs to, no. uh, you know what I'm saying, like. Out of all the people, no. I think that when, the, when stuff like this happens. Blame the shooter first. I immediately just log out those apps because I know, I know what's coming uh, from, blame, from sort of people. Blame the shooter, bro. We do everything but blame, blame the, the motherfucking shooter. We try to go so in depth of what happened, what what kind of childhood he have, who was it, what was he was he around? No, Nigga, fuck no. that. The dude shot him, bro. He a grown motherfucking man. He can yeah. do. He can go. He can go wherever the fuck he wants. Wherever go. the fuck he wants, as he wants, as, as at his leisure. He's fucking take he's off take in Quavo. Off. He's take off. He's in Houston he's in a bowling alley. Of the, of yeah, he's part of the biggest culture. fucking rap group for the culture. They, that's the album yeah. titles. Right. He was. He was. He was absolutely. Uh, a, a huge figure, pause, in the culture, bro. Yeah. He was part of it. He was absolutely part of it. You know what I'm saying? He's one third of people. A lot of people would argue that Takeoff is the best Migos. Out of our like, best rapper out of the group, so it's, And he's one third of a lot of influence that a lot of motherfuckers. Mean? He had the best flow. And he had the best He had the best delivery. I agree. He had the, most, he had the best sauce and flavor out of all of them, I think. Because it was debatable between Offset and Quavo. Some people fucked with Quavo. Some people fucked with Offset. Everybody fucked with Takeoff. Yeah, yep. Everybody fucked with Takeoff. And he had the better, uh, like his his album was was more well received as his solo album than the other two. And this the new last album spaceship, had, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and him rocket. and uh, Quavo. The last, oh yeah, their um their joint album they just put out is fucking fire. Like a lot of good was, beats was, on it. Yeah, he was going crazy on that. So. It's just sad to see that, you know, maybe Offset, you know, because Offset obviously didn't, fit, you know, square things away with, with Takeoff and Quavo prior to this. So, you know, I know that that's probably hurt that that's unfinished business. Um, oh, you know, they got to come back. They got to come back together. I know. I, shit, I do bro. hope that, that yeah. you know, oh, they, yeah. find, they find and repair their relationship. Ain't know? got no choice but to. Ain't got no choice but to, bro. It's because unfortunate like, I took to this, but, life, it, but it's going to Life is too petty. Happen. I mean, life is too, too short, short bro. to be beefing over petty shit that's why that's why me personally that's why i get so tight that's why i get so upset whenever i argue or 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 beef with my homeboys about petty shit right. because that could be the last time i talk to that nigga and we, that could and be we, the last time he talked to me and we argued and we argued over some dumb shit arguing over some stupid shit man yeah life is bigger than that too short. And that nigga, that nigga, uh, Quavo was already about to. He already put out a, a, a video of him uh, in the elevator. He was in the elevator. Uh, he had like like recreated that whole. Oh like, yeah, they just they literally just put out the music video the day that before, day. Yeah, that day. yeah, that the day. Yeah. That fucking day. A couple hours before this. That's crazy, man. Designer, ugly, crying all over the fucking internet. The road. I can't even hold the tear, I can't even call Quay, I can't call Offset, I can't call none of these niggas. Yo, yo, the rail. Yo, rail. <sighs> yo, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I can't live like this no more. I'll be yeah, somebody go check on that nigga. Somebody go check on designer for sure. Yeah, man, because that ugly <clears throat> cry, man. Niggas, when niggas start crying ugly like that, talking about They don't care crying. about nothing. <laughs> but I, he was saying he was done with rap. Yeah. <clears throat> and I know this is supposed to be a sad situation, but I was, I, I was, I was done with that nigga designer. Rap. Before this, you didn't have that well, call. Well, before takeoff. Yeah, passed. you didn't have that call. Uh, Boosie, he spoke on it too, man. R.I.P. takeoff, bro. Uh... Shaking my head, man. Humble nigga. That nigga talk like he take. Badass music syndicate won't show QC, all the family. He sending some prayers and love for y'all niggas. I'll take our family, Quavo, I'll set all y'all. Badass music syndicate won't, you know, send their prayers out. You know, uh. 
This rap shit whack, bro. I ain't lying. We targets now, bro. We used to be heroes, you know. This rap shit whack as fuck. Right. This rap used shit to be heroes. Whack, bro. I don't. I don't necessarily personally view this as like, like it's not even like that. It's not even really like a rap thing. Like it wasn't like he was targeted. He was literally an innocent bystander. So I don't feel like, yes, I do agree there's a lot of problems in rap. I just don't think this situation correlates to that. I don't think this was a rap thing. I think this was. It was this was a this was a rap. He, he, a said it was, he said it was a rap thing because had he had the respect they had back in the day, like the heroes he was speaking of, this situation would never took place because that fuckery would have never even been afoot around them. They don't move like that. Our heroes don't move like that either. Jay-Z, you'll never see Jay-Z or Nas or Eminem. At a fucking dice game at a bowling alley on Halloween night. But but at the same time, they would have they did that when they were younger. Like they were right. You know, there's a they're older now. So like Eminem was out here wilding when he was younger. You yeah, know he what was I mean? through his thirties, just doing all kinds of crazy drugs. Right, yeah. right, right. But I do believe. But I but but uh, like here's the thing. Like we glorify and we big up. Niggas shooting up motherfuckers' houses. Shoot their motherfucking face off. Until it happens to us. You know what I'm saying? Until somebody close to us really get their fucking sh face shot off. Or they really fucking, or, or somebody mama really is, you know what I'm saying, crying. Or somebody, you know what I'm saying? I remember this one story where this, uh, this, uh, this mama was visiting her son at his grave in Chicago who was a victim of gun violence, right? The nigga that killed her son ran up uh, on the gravesite and killed the mama while she was visiting her son. What the fuck? That's crazy. Why? Exactly. What, did, what did he do, bro? God damn. Evil fucking world we live in, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Snoop, Snoop said this, Snoop, I, which I thought was pretty powerful. I, I want to ask you, um, I, and I asked this question to Isaac uh, shortly uh, before you came into the room, with, uh, with the unfortunate situation of the passing of, of uh, Takeoff today, what, what, what are your thoughts on that and, and music today and the generation, the rap generation of today? I mean, that's it's touchy, baby, because it just seems like I've been around deaf since I've been in the industry since day one it's been death around me and you, you don't really know how to understand it or deal with it but your thing is to say that we have to treat this business like a business we have to leave certain elements of it out of it and we have to learn how to grow as businessmen you know if you want to become the the moguls that you see the billionaires what's one thing the billionaires do they separate themselves from the things that could possibly take away their abilities and things that can enhance their abilities. We have to pick and choose who we move with and how we move. You know, it's crazy that God is always going to show us that, you know, association by affiliation is the best way to move. You are who you are and you are who you with. And I like to move with people who move in peace, who aren't violent, who love to see tomorrow. And I just pray that all of my young homies in the rap game could get to where I'm at because I was once on their same collision course that they was on. So I can't be hypocritical and say, I don't know what's going on because I was once like them. And I once had to grow into a full grown man to understand that I had to separate and live for tomorrow and not try to die for today. Mm. That's some real shit. Powerful. Yeah, and yeah, so I do agree with you. Yeah, like, like he was only, he was only 28. I'm still out here living my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm still here in the streets. And again, he wasn't even doing anything. He wasn't doing anything. He was just there, wrong place, wrong time. Like where you were just in the middle. Yeah. It's and I think that I think that the larger conversation uh needs to be had about the culture surrounding rap. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 you could be you could be J. Cole. You could be Kendrick. You could be fucking Phoenix. You can have the bar. You can have the talent. You, don't you have ain't to need be to be. Out, you don't need to thug. be in the hood. You don't need to be talking about that hood shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not unfortunately the, that's what sells. That's what these fucking um uh, uh labels push. Yeah, the, I don't give a fuck. I'm about it, about it. I do whatever to. 
and you ain't gonna stop me. I don't give a fuck. And and not that yeah. not that this is a rap music problem because like like I said, because not all rappers rap about that shit. You could be dope. Shit, and you don't not see rap country music murder. motherfuckers running up on each other. Yeah, you don't see them niggas talking about that shit at you all. Don't, you don't see uh, rock groups. You don't see Blink One Eighty Two running up on Good Charlotte. But that's because they don't live <laughs> that life. They don't come from that background. Rappers do. Right now. We are living the reality of these rappers. These rappers see niggas, they see they homeboys die every fucking day, B. Yeah. So now we're starting to fucking live out, live out their realities with them. With yeah. the rise of social media and shit. We feel they pain. We feel all that shit. Yeah, we, we, wanna, we want our uh, entertainers to be so real to, to the point to where they're real. Before social <laughs> media... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, what were you about to say? I, I, I think that I don't necessarily think that's the case that we even want celebrities to be real. I think that the general public treats celebrities like animals at the zoo. You're just here for entertainment. You're not really a real person. They don't treat celebrities like well, We don't want them to be fake. You see what yeah, happens but, but I'm nine. saying, but like, like, no one needed to pull their fucking phone out during this shit and record this shit. You know what I mean? That shit is a disease. To see somebody in that moment... And have it and like and not help him. He is holding his nephew and crying, and he had the pain. You didn't need to record that. Like, why what? every time something happened to a rapper or an athlete or an entertainer or anybody of color, the first thing you niggas do is pull your fucking phones out and start recording and post that shit on the internet, man. You niggas is clowns for that shit, man. Y'all niggas is clowns for that shit, man. The last image a motherfucker wanna see is people laying on the ground bleeding the fuck out, man. Niggas be having mamas, kids, grandmamas, uncles, aunties. That's some dumb shit, man. But the first thing y'all niggas do is pull your phone out. Ooh, look at such and such. Man, that shit ain't cool, man. For real, man. You niggas, that nigga just lost his life and you niggas is trying to get likes. Wow. Tell me how that huh. shit add up, man. Right. You niggas, and all you blog sites, y'all niggas is out of pocket, man. Y'all niggas is trying to get clickbait, you niggas is suckers, man. That man laying on the ground, he bleeding out, and you niggas recording it and posting that shit on the internet, man. Y'all niggas is clowns for that shit. I, I'm telling you, man, this the reason why I be hating niggas, man. I'm telling you, man. It just be us. It, it, I be hating niggas, man. Shout out to fucking Takeoff, man. Rest in peace, man. Shout out to his family, man. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> pretty powerful stuff. Unfortunately, from Ely. unfortunately, we live in a society of social media. We live in a time of social media, and not all not all people that um, get killed, you know, sell millions of records and is rich as fuck either. It, it's not even just celebrities. It, it's anytime there's a wrongdoing, we we want to record that shit. Like, oh, yeah. look, at this, look at this dead body. Look, look, look. Right, right, what? right. Right, 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 right. Everybody want to be a journalist. Everyone you want to break the news. Everybody want to go viral. Right. That shit. Right. right. I, I don't was just about. I was. I, they I was just, they to... want to sell that shit to TMZ. They want yes. to do shit like that. Like that's. Look, yes. Oh, did, did you see the yes. shit footage of TMZ? I did that. that was bro, me. Like, bro, oh, we are, it, bro, bitch. we are, we are fascinated by death. You know what I'm saying? We afraid of it. We fascinated by We're death. We're afraid of you know it. Yeah, fascinated. Uh, but y'all, but y'all are absolutely fucking correct. They should just stop showing death. Period. It should. Yeah. Period. I shouldn't have to go see uh, see why or see video. It should just not be allowed. Yeah, like I honestly, to be to be to be honest, I don't even like seeing the videos of unarmed black people getting shot and killed. Whenever that video comes across my feed, but you see, even then, that oh it, my god, I can't, time I can't it, watch it gets that edited shit. to where you don't even get to see much. I mean, there's eventually videos that like, pop out, but I initially, saw, I saw P and B Rock fucking fight for his fucking life, on the nigga. Floor. I never, I'll never fuck that one. I'll never get that out of my head, bro. Probably the same for takeoff yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, there is, that, I can't get Quavo's. See, like, I can't get to see that. I can't shit. get Quavo's ever listen, see that. I can't get Quavo's scream out my my mind. I didn't even see that. Right. I don't even want to see that. Yeah, no, it's it's a disgusting video that like that should that that like you should never. Some personal shit. Posting that shit is crazy. The fact that you thought that it was okay to do that, like I said, like I can only imagine what he's going through. He's hollering out, you know yelling I mean? out. I I feel for Quavo right now. Like I know he 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 is mentally like not okay right now. I already know that shit. Is a different level of pain that most people won't ever experience. You hear this nigga Fabio Foreign? 
Yo. Pray for Quavo. He's an area, so I know he's taking this idiot. shit hard. What, nigga? What are you talking about? Fuck that got to do with anything. Bitch. You will never know shit. Don't nobody want to Shut you. your bitch ass you. up before I get to talking shit about you. What is this nigga talking about? You delete that shit. He could have just, he just you. kept it at pray for, pray for Quavo. I told That's you, it. This is exactly why I log out. As soon as I find out about this, I log the fuck out of, out of Twitter. Cause he's an Aquarius. It's just, I know he's taking it hard. It's going what? left. No, he's a human being. That's that why he's taking it hard. Weird that uh, somebody's fuck. family member passed away in their arms. And uh, see if he was a cancer though, what you wouldn't hit you as hard though. What? Why like you talk, the, he's talk just, about zodiac signs at a time like this, nigga? What does that have to do with mourning his fucking? fucking NLE chopper. I feel good. I'm dropping. I, what do you say? I'm 20 today. I feel good. I'm dropping this in three days, and uh, rest in peace to take off. That's nasty. That's You're nasty. You're trying bitch. to shut your you bitch ass up shit. before don't I get to talking shit about you. Don't nobody need you. Like. Like, who, who I know that? what you're doing, Anna Lee Choppa. Are you doing that because you're trying to get into the algorithm and have people see that you're dropping music? That's sick. That is sick. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? Man, um, rest in peace to take off. Absolutely, rest in peace uh, take off. Prayers and condolences to the Migos, to your family, your kids. QC. You see, everybody, that, everyone's affected everybody by that. that. Yeah, everybody that fuck would take off, man. Like prayers up to y'all. Uh, take off was absolutely. He's definitely a abs- He's absolutely a motherfucking legend, bro. One hundred percent legend. Love the last spaceship is on repeat, nigga. My favorite song on that bitch is Last Memory, nigga. Last rocket. My favorite song on that bitch is Last Memory, though. Yeah. I uh, woke up this morning, can't remember. I, t- I told to Siri to play Take Off, and it ended up on that shit too. I was Last watching, thing I, I was remember, listening. they calling me daddy. The mattress was covered in money. Went to sleep with my jewelry chains on. Woke up, the, came on the money, man. That shit. The, yeah, yeah. Went to sleep with the chains. I on. got a woke bitch up, gonna to kill for money. real. Talk about Cloud and Bunny. Coop in the kit. Cop it. That shit hard as fuck. Pull it with a stick. Stop Stop it. it. Rich nigga shit. Silent. Oh, yeah. honey's pocket brought it. I go to space with the stars. My smoke a blunt with my pilot. Saturn, moon, Earth, and Mars. Hey, NASA take yeah. off with the rocket. What? I don't know it like that, but yeah, that's my shit. <laughs> All right, man. Again, rest in peace to motherfucking take off, man. Rest in peace, take off. All right, man. Let's uh, let's lighten the mood up, man. Let's lighten the motherfucking okay. mood up. What the fuck? What we talking about? The fuck we getting into? Y'all want to get in the motherfucking pause? Uh, Diddy playing Joker and shit. Oh, Diddy! Diddy killed his Joker Bro, Halloween Diddy costume. Body that shit. Kudos to you, Diddy. That nigga snapped. You took an Adderall that night and went ham. Bro, Diddy Joker over every fucking Joker except uh Jack Nicholson Joker. Jack Nicholson Joker. And Heath Ledger, he, don't don't he don't trip. I don't know. He I don't know. He, I think he bodied Heath he Ledger. He copied Heath Ledger. He Fledger. killed the Heath Ledger motherfucking yeah, Joker better than he but did. But he paid. Uh, the, yeah, that's not no. You can't. He's recreating what's what the yeah. greatness. He was yeah. a little zesty with it though. He was. He little, had to be. Nigga, he that killed nigga did it. He was a little zesty as shit. He killed it. <laughs> yeah. That's how the Joker is though. He flamboyant. Whipping his hair and shit. That's yeah, crazy. that nigga, yo, Diddy killed that shit, bro. Yeah. He stayed killing it on Halloween. Remember when he dressed up as Pennywise and he did that oh, dance yeah. coming up the hallway? And shit, that shit was hard as fuck, nigga. What holiday does Diddy not love? Like, hey, I feel like Diddy has a, has something for every holiday. He doing something crazy. And for who a did he get into it with when he, he walked up on somebody that, that was just getting out like the red carpet? That nigga from Power. Somebody from Power. I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, one of uh, Dre's homeboys. It was one of Dre's homeboys that he got into it with. Uh-huh. That's who we got into it with uh, on Power and shit. Listen to this shit. That shit is hilarious. Like Diddy was snapping, bro. He didn't like the way Diddy the was came, coming up on him in character. That's what it was. That nigga Diddy. She it. What's up, baby? We what's up, baby? What's up? What's up? You don't like me? The motherfucker get to it, nigga. You don't like me, you motherfucking son. Get to it, bitch. Don't fucking play with me on Halloween. That's Diddy, nigga. That wasn't Joker, nigga. That was Diddy. What's up? What's up? You don't like me? The motherfucker get to it, nigga. Get to it. You don't like me, you motherfucking front. Get to it, bitch. Don't fucking play with me on Halloween. 
Yo, this, Halloween is that nigga favorite motherfucking holiday. Don't, 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 don't kill up, my vibe. I don't know if he likes that at Christmas more because he does a bunch of shit. He on said, Christmas "Bitch, too. don't kill my vibe." What are right. you talking about? Right, and he had a whole like he had a whole like promo video for the whole Joker shit, nigga. Like he like he like did like he did the whole Joker scene, bro. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, you, bro. Bo- you bodied that character, dude. He, he bodied that motherfucker. He snapped on that shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck Jared Leto. Fuck Joaquin Phoenix. Give me motherfucking uh, Diddy Joker, Diddy nigga. Diddy Joker. Imagine a black Joker just running around the city, just tearing up shit, blowing up shit. With a fucking Black Lives Matter motherfucking uh, tuxedo on, nigga. Throwing bombs in cars and shit. What? That should be hard, nigga. Who should be the, the the black Batman? Who should be the black Batman? Yeah. Oh, they probably uh have um uh Jonathan Majors or uh Michael or B. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> no, absolutely. The niggas not. in Creed. Both of them niggas in Creed, either one of them. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan. Or um what's his name? Damn, I can't remember. Never mind. Who who who's who's the kung fu dude? Uh the black kung fu dude. You know what I'm talking about. Michael J. White? Him. Michael J. White being Bruce Wayne? Yep. He would have to be Alfred. He too old. Like, to be Bruce He's Wayne. To, to be Bruce Wayne, you got to be, like, kind of, like, young. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, like, your 30s. Okay, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you got to be, be kind of, like, young. in your prime. You got to be in your prime. Yeah. Like, fuck Robert Pattinson, nigga. Like, like I'll take, I'll take Jonathan Majors or fucking uh, Michael B. Jordan over that nigga any day. And it makes more sense. It makes more sense for a black dude to be Batman. Like they, you know, it'd be funny because I can just imagine this is definitely something. Somebody in the studio would do this, which is like do like Batman with like The Rock and Kevin Hart, and have Kevin oh Hart, my Kevin God. Hart be Robin. Robin. Uh, yeah, Kevin Hart be Robin. Someone told me that Robin was supposed to be bisexual in upcoming like comic. No, or he, something yeah, like they that. made yeah they made him in his in his most recent comment. They made that nigga. Yeah, whatever. Right. Hey, to each okay. his own. Right, yeah. The cartoon, yeah. But Diddy, yeah, Diddy did kill that shit, man. But uh, that nigga Phoenix, hey, you were right. There's one thing that white people are gonna do on Halloween uh, that they shouldn't do is that some of them are gonna do blackface. You were absolutely right. It's, it's guaranteed every year. So I, I wish I could bet money on it because it, it win. So, so I'm guessing. Money. So I'm guessing y'all did see that shit in Utah. Yes, the white motherfuckers in uh, dressed as black Wal- prisoners. You, you guys are literally going to a college. You guys are not going to get any scholarships because this is a hate crime. We all dropped out of high school. It's okay. <laughs> if I still don't think it's appropriate for you guys to be doing this. It's it's really it's it's really not funny. Yeah, man. You dropped out of high school because you probably got beat your ass beat for being uh, racist and doing dumb shit like that. You fucking knew better, you fucking crackers. Right, right. Oh, I'm glad damn. you said, I'm glad you said that shit. That, That's got to be racist. There's I'm no way. I'm glad you said that, man. White people can be so lame sometimes, man. Lame ass nigga. You wonder why fucking Donovan Mitchell got the fuck out of uh, Utah, nigga. Hell yeah, quick. Fast and hurry. These Mormons are trying to kill me. Right. <laughs> right these Mormon ass, like, they don't even get pussy. They soak. They soak. These are niggas that like these are niggas that go out here and so- they soak, nigga. You don't so- even fuck bitches. They you soak. soak. We soak before you get married. Then when you get married, you marry twelve of them. Right. What the fuck? Get your whole ass up out of here. Backwards nigga. ass. Bro. And 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 white people, honestly, racist white people only do this shit within the confines of their white bubble. Like they only do this shit in like they neighborhoods, white establishments. Like they not walking their ass. Yeah, but on you see block. even we're sick of white people's bullshit. I know y'all sick of that shit because it doesn't work. Sick of it. White people. Just so we're sticking up people. for you know what I mean. We, we you, you see an allies every day, right? They were sitting there. They was about. They was. About, they was really giving that nigga Diddy a hard time. Talking about he out here wearing white feet, white face. Well, how does it feel, white people? He said, it "Was it how the fuck face? does it feel?" He said, "Bro, one year, uh, Tyler the Creator dressed up as Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> that shit is hilarious." Picture. Man, these motherfucking white motherfuckers, they never Dave go Dave Chappelle as a white dude is hilarious. Did you did you see that video of that 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 white dude that walked into that bar? I don't know if it was in New York or in California and he had on a uh, 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 Nazi he had yes. a Nazi uniform on. Yes. Wow. You're wild. He said it's a Halloween costume. He said that's not a Halloween costume. That's, that's a, they 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 murdered fucking executed like millions of people. That's what I'm saying, bro. Didn't even give him proper <laughs> respect. Like, oh, but he didn't. He didn't. Oh, but that nigga didn't, didn't do, do white face. face. No, he didn't do white face. But it was oh, Usher, bro, that's 
city is hilarious, nigga. That shit is stupid oh, yeah. as fuck. <laughs> that shit is stupid as fuck. Uh, but yeah, you'll never see this type of shit in Compton. You'll never see this shit on Crenshaw Boulevard. No. You'll never see this shit like, you know what I'm saying? No. Any hood in America. It'd only be like Montana, Montana Utah. Montana, Idaho, Iowa. Alabama. Fucking New Hampshire. I, I don't see not even Alabama. That's New smarter. Hampshire. That's where that shit be at, Kentucky. man. Yeah, Kentucky. No, no, not even Kentucky, probably. No, Kentucky's pretty know. racist. Kentucky yeah, is but, racist as fuck. But they're not doing Yes, black they race. are. West oh, Virginia. yes, they are. Yes, they are. No. Yes, they are. They, son, you, who you going to be today? The Bro, there's a black, there's a, there's a white person doing blackface every Halloween. Like, every Halloween, there's, there's a white that didn't person. Get caught. There's, somebody that didn't, there's somebody that didn't get put on video, yeah. too. Yeah. Every Halloween, oh, they haven't got popular about. yet. You haven't got popular enough yet. You'll feel you're, you're, you're gonna hear more about them. Yeah. Watch, watch. Every every Halloween, there's a white dude out there getting dressed, talking about how can I fuck up my future, nigga. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? How can I fuck up? How can I, I fuck I'm up? About to, I'm the CEO of a new fucking job. Right. And, and, and let's go to blackface and and I'm put let's put it on YouTube hashtag. Right. It's Utah. What do you expect, man? These niggas. These Sound niggas about Utah. Pussy. Utah seemed like a mostly white right. state. Right. Sounds about Sound about Utah, Utah Jazz. That's got to be racist. There's no way. Man, speaking of Halloween, did you hear about that Chicago man arrested after handing out marijuana gummies on Halloween? Man, that's what's up. Because oh, he to ran kids? out of regular candy, nigga. Oh, to kids? Yes. Oh, you ain't shit. Yes, nigga. Come on, man. I thought she was looking to the parents or something. Come dick. on, you man. You will never know shit. Don't nobody Stop it. You. Don't Put that nigga ass in the help. dirt. <laughs> I tell you that what. That is... Smoking on Pookie Load tonight. That is stupid as fuck, nigga, because you ran out of regular candy. You gave these chickens drugs. How high do you think he was? Like, Timmy. He, was like, he had to be off like two or three edibles. Timmy, Timmy, shit. are you the okay? Saying that. You had like 17 Reese's. You don't want no more? No. Right, he's, nigga. He's dozing off in his car seat in the he back. He could have killed these kids. I know those little motherfuckers was fried, nigga. Fried. Oh my you God. walk in the room, you walk in the room, your kids fucking stand at the wall watching Spongebob and shit, laughing and look. These like, ha <laughs> ha! TV's over there. He's watching over there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas in here looking at Just shit. Just eating ice cream with their hands. Right, like, out nigga. Out of the fucking bucket. Yeah, find your, find your, find your kitty eating bologna and mustard sandwiches yeah. in the middle of the night Oh, God. Look at that. You finished all that fucking candy tonight? It's like, yeah, it's gone. The whole wall. You finished all of this candy. Bouncing and off the wall You real. went to at least 30 houses. And you now, and now, di- now you're, you're going to go into a diabetic shock. Holy shit, nigga. I'm just saying. That shit Shame is on stupid you. as fuck. Shame nigga. on y'all, for real. Niggas going to walk in on their kids dancing like Dauber, nigga. Like, you a whole piece of shit. I came Damn home God, and Christian kid. was asleep. And guess what was on the Xbox? Dauber. Fucking Dauber. Oh. Shout out to Christian. Happy birthday. It's lucky you didn't get, that's the only reason he didn't get his ass whooped. That nigga don't want to. He don't want to like open up roadkill. Yeah, kill. you're a nice. He, he want to play with roadkill. I said, I said, what the fuck are you watching? I said, you're watching this. He goes, he goes, yeah, Wolfgang put it on. I said, no, nah, you turn this off. You're not allowed to watch this. The fuck is Wolfgang? That's that's his nephew or that's his uncle. That's his name, Wolfgang. Oh wow. Oh okay. You know Gen Z, they don't give a fuck about their names. Right. True. Axel, Wolfgang, Water, Slater, yeah. but with an X in the middle. There's no A. Right. Xena. Yeah. yeah. But don't free that nigga, man. Keep that nigga up in. Keep that nigga locked up, man. How the yeah. fuck you out here giving out drugs to fucking kids? Put that nigga, nigga ass in the dirt. Idiot. What else Tell we talking about? What? Not okay with you. Smoking on Pookie um, Loaf tonight. Charlamagne was catching some heat this week for an old Vlad interview clip. Uh, really? Yeah, he was where he, he say? What? He had some uh, comments about Jewish people in the media. Oh. Uh, that. Well, we have, I believe we have audio. Black people, we don't have no power. No matter what we do, we can all click up. We don't have no organization that has holds anyway. And WCP don't hold no weight. We don't have no organization that holds no weight. You can't speak bad about a Jewish person because they have organizations and they're a close-knit group of people in power who will bring you down. Same thing with gays. You can't say nothing bad about gays because they move as a unit. Black people don't have that. I, I mean, if you if you do a racist comment about black people, there are repercussions. When you don't, who? you don't just walk away from that. Who? Tell me, give me an example. I mean, you know, Kramer. But that's because he was white, and nothing really bad happened to him. You know why nothing bad happened? I never to him? really heard from him again. I think because he got so rich that he was just cool. Like like, like Jews don't go out and try to uh, recruit people into the religion like. 
you know, certain Christians and, mm-hmm. and Muslims. And stuff. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't even feel comfortable talking about this. I'm sweating right now. I listen, <laughs> I, I, listen, I, listen, I don't, I don't, there's certain things, there's certain things I don't like to talk about, and I love Jewish people, but they're powerful. I don't want them to misconstrue anything I'm saying or take anything I'm saying the wrong way. So I would much rather not even have this conversation. I have a lot of great Jewish people in my corner. I have a Jewish, I have a Jewish conglomerate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know why there's not a lot of Jewish rappers? Because there's Jewish owners and Jewish CEOs. They run these labels. <laughs> They're the bosses. That's why I'm uncomfortable. What did Kanye say? He said, uh, happy Kwanzaa to all the artists and happy, happy Hanukkah, Hanukkah to all the label execs. Exactly. It's the truth. They run. I think we had the, the, said. the main reason he caught flag for it was because he was one of the first people to be so quick uh, to speak about Kanye in a negative manner about what, what Kanye said. Because obviously what Kanye said was fucked up. But I think that people were just like, you know, kind of related, like, hey, you have the same similar rhetoric. You're just not saying it the exact same way. That's how a lot of people were viewing it. I have They'll view this as, as anti-Semitic. I disagree. Because I don't think anything that he said was anti-Semitic because I honestly believe that... Uh, well, he, not, said, he, not just believe, said, he just said y'all powerful. Well, well, not, I didn't not not believe, but that's always been like common like knowledge yeah. that Jewish, you know, what I'm saying like Run Jewish people CEO, ran the they, entertainment industry. Yeah, but at the same time, Jewish people find that anti-Semitic. Yeah, that's that's, that's what's that's what's bad about it. That's what's fucked up about it. The fact that you can't say you can't you basically say can't say anything about them. Otherwise, it's gonna be viewed as anti-semitic you know what i'm saying like like for real that's i mean and honestly i don't think what he was saying was too much along that line of being offensive to jewish people because uh he was speaking some truth in saying like black people like when 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 like when you when you um when you like offend a black person or you know what i'm saying like you know you be prejudiced towards a black person you a public figure nothing really happens to you like that you know I wouldn't what I'm saying? Say that. I've never seen nobody killed for saying nigger like Kanye was for saying what he said about Jewish people. That is stop fucking. Never. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. was beating off on fucking yeah, women. He, he got canceled for the Me Too movement. No, nah, but he was he was so. But I mean, he wasn't he was, really he was in trouble canceled. for that. He was, I mean, he was, he was never comeback. in trouble for that. And and there's a lot of like white George Carlin. There's a lot of white. Like like people white like white uh, comedians and like entertainment figures that have said nigger and all that shit. That nigga Justin Joe Whalen, Rogan. Joe Rogan has said, look all the time he said nigger and all that shit. What happened to Joe Rogan? That nigga was on his podcast the next te- motherfucking day. He wasn't saying it out of com- out of conversation. He was just saying he was it. using it within specific context of like quotes and from other people. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's just he. And think about it. If black people own some shit. If we owned, like, you know what I'm saying, like, media c- companies, if we were, like, you know what I'm saying, like, owners of, like, big conglomerates and shit like that, yeah, like, you would be canceled like a motherfucker. Quick. We would be able to get you the fuck out of here, but we don't own shit. Well, I mean, they get, the, people get still get canceled, bro. You, white people do not like that racism shit no more. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of times, like, white people, yeah, they get fired from their job, but they just go get a fucking another one. True. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be held they against made you in the long sure run. that they made sure Kanye don't. They made sure his shit ain't even sold in Goodwill anymore, nigga. Like he he went to Skechers and they told him fuck off. Right. And I can understand. I can understand where you know what I'm saying where Jewish people was coming from. Where you know people would just get on public platforms saying you know we own every fucking thing, so they're all all powerful and shit like that. I can understand where the offensiveness comes from. I can understand where that comes from because. And, but that also stems back to. The Holocaust and how the rhetoric that Hitler would spew is is basically that Jewish people were you know terrible people and that they were those types. It was the same. That's like that's what that is. That's what anti-Semitism is because that's what he like he was spewing was that Jewish people were evil and they ran the media like that. That was what he was basically saying. And, and Jewish people are not not for that shit at all, even a little bit. And but that's what like, led but, to the no. Holocaust. But but black people were enslaved in this motherfucking country, and um uh you know and those those like places where so where Jews there's no not in this motherfucking country, nigga. Oh, not in this country. Not so. in this country. In this country. In this on fucking American soil, there are still places that you could visit in America 
where slaves were held, mutilated, beat the fuck up, yeah. murdered, raped. That shit is still up. There's still statues that are still erect. Pause. Reminding motherfuckers of that time period. But and what, I don't want to sit here. Say, but what, is, what are you saying that for? To say what? I'm saying that, I'm saying that like, you know, like, yeah, Jewish people, yeah, they can have that argument that, yeah, what they went through was fucking tragic, is, you know what I'm saying? But what we went through was fucking just as tragic, if not more tragic than what the fuck they went through. I definitely wouldn't say it was more. I, I don't like to play that game. But I don't want to play seen, that game at I've, all. I've watched, I've watched. Shit was tragic. I've watched this argument in real life between uh, some, some friends uh, on both sides of that argument about the who, who had it worse as a, as a race. That's a disgusting it's argument a, it's to a, have. A, it's an right. argument that I don't want That's to That's a disgusting argument to have. I have no opinion. Because I, yeah, I, I love, I love Jewish people. I don't want to sit, I don't want to sit up here and, uh, and, and sound anti-Semitic Semitic. I just don't believe that what Charlemagne said was anti-Semitic. I think that what he was basically saying uh, was Agreed. common knowledge that, you know, that's all that's been a rumor, you know, throughout. And he's in the media. He, he, he would he, know. He reports, right. But the, like, like, like he said, he they don't want to. They don't even want to go down that road. That that's 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 you a road you're not even want to talk about. It. All right, I don't even want to keep talking about this shit. I don't know who fuck who, who, who put this motherfucking topic in here talking about. I want to look. I want to put out. this shit up in here, man. You know what? Uh, you know Shut what? your okay. bitch ass okay. up. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll shut the fuck up. I'll shut the fuck up, man. What else we talking about? Uh, um, what we got? Meek Mill uh, announced a Flamers Five mixtape, so bringing that series back. Flamers? Uh, Flamers, yeah. That was like his when he was first on the come up. That's what he was dropping. Flamers. Flamers? Yeah. You never heard the Flamers mixtape before? Flamers. That was, uh, that's just, that was, that's how Meek Mill got to fame. Like those were his mixtape oh, series Chasers. that blew him up. No, Dream Chasers was was later down the line. Like, well, I'm talking a, about like the Flamers flamer. mixtape is what got him his deal with T.I., what got him like in hey. that you know original direction. And then T.I. got locked up, which is why he signed with Rick Ross. I didn't know about the nigga till Dream Catchers. Yeah, I mean, either. Dream Chasers? Dream oh, Chasers. I dream I said catchers. Dream Catchers. <laughs> dream Catchers is yeah, crazy. I, yeah, I mean, I ain't know about the Nicky Till Dream Chasers. I ain't know about the Nicky Till Dream Chasers. It's the Catchers. Yeah. I mean, like, hey, that, like, 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 uh, like Meek Mill said, he said he was going to put out, what, 10 mixtapes? Something like that, like, but he didn't, I don't think he ever dropped a, a Flamers 4, so I don't know. <laughs> I think he just skipped a number. <laughs> that nigga dyslexic. I don't know. Yeah, well, shout out to fucking Meek putting out new music. <laughs> if that much... If that much song is on there, I'm not listening to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of of that song, Ice Spice is uh, claiming that she made two million off that shit, off the streams, and off I the believe YouTubes. it. I believe it too. Shit, it's not hard. <laughs> not when you go that viral. I believe it. It's crazy. First of Shows. all, good for her. First of Shows, all, Ice Spice, yeah. Ice Spice is a baddie. She got and, fat away. and 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 she and she was at every rolling loud. I spice high. She ain't trying to fuck with you. Dude. Yes, she is. She ain't trying to fuck Everybody with you. After that bubble gum ass spice. hat. She ain't trying to fuck with you. I don't you. give a fuck what you talking about. <laughs> love me. I'm just saying, is like she's been she's like, next she's up, been man. doing hella appearances, like hopping on everybody fucking platforms. Mm -hmm. It feels like the machine is definitely behind her. Like the algorithm oh, is, yeah. is heavily behind her. So she's definitely she's about to she's next up. Well, she looked good, but yeah. her bars is trash. Like her bars like are trash. I like the bikini bottom record. It's cool. They're average. I'll say they're average. Oh my I fucking say it's god, that shit is trash. That's average. That shit is below average. That shit is below average. That, that is bad. that girl is a it's better one, than Nav. That bitch is a one. What? Yeah, I'd listen to her before I listen to Nav. That shit, that sound gay as fuck. Like you don't even, you don't even believe that shit. I do you believe that. You don't even that. believe that. Oh, you listen don't. to Nav. You don't listen to fucking you Ice that. Spice before you would listen to Ice Spice before you listen to Nav. Yes, I don't. What do you got against Nav? What do you I got against God. Ice Spice? Nigga, she Nothing. fucking trash and fucking plenty, rhyming. You nigga, of like terrible she rappers, I'm sure. Trash, dog. Get the fuck she off is, the airway. The oh. only fucking word I know from that Munch song is, "You thought I would feel you." That nigga's a munch. That's all I know from that That's song. You've never probably actually listened to the song. You've just exactly that you was You just point. watched the the reels that have it on exactly. there. Exactly. So that's why. So I'm you, not gonna sit here and listen to that shit. So you would know other parts of the song if you'd no, ever heard it before. I've never shit. actually listened to the song. I'm, I'm a fucking man. The fuck I look like sitting here listening to Ice Spice, nigga. What? I listen to Three Six Mafia. Don't you listen, listen to Nicki? What did you say? You, was, you listen to Nicki? Nicki is different, nigga. Nicki rap better than uh, uh, ninety percent of the rap game, nigga. You no. Listen to Cardi. We well, you know that. I don't listen to fucking Cardi or Meg. Cardi, nigga. Glow, real song. 
that song went. I don't listen to Glorilla. The only you thing sure I know is fuck nigga free. And that's only because of the reels. And it and because of what's shared on fucking I fuck Instagram. With I, like I do not listen to the I like entire. Her. I don't listen to female rappers. I don't listen to female rap, nigga. I listen to Lotto's like reels. I listen to like the little snippets. I don't listen to their shit. I'm like, okay, that's just a pop. I will never listen to a you fucking full li- song of that shit. <laughs> it just be Lotto like twerking. Fuck I look like, nigga. Fuck I look like listen to that shit. They not they not that R-E-E bad. E I fuck, s- nigga. What the fuck I look I'm like not listening, listening to, to that, that shit. Song. I'm finna break out and pop my fucking pussy around here, nigga. No, nigga. It's pussy. That's pop your pussy music, nigga. That's twerk music. I when mean, I listen to when I listen to Chief Keith or when I listen to motherfucking Herbo, Dirk, or something like that, nigga, I wanna go. I want to go shoot some shit. Shoot some you shit up, nigga. Car, you be in that car twerking. I want to kill somebody. You know you be in the parking lot twerking. Hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> Hell no, nah, nigga. When I listen to Lotto or something like that, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is some twerk music, nigga. Yeah. That's all I can think about. That's all I have in my head, nigga, is twerking. And I'm not about to twerk. Let me, let me find out. You in here twerking. Why you fucking nah, nigga, it I'm up? not up in here clapping cheeks, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I am not up in here clapping my own cheeks, nigga. Trust me. Oh, shit. Trust me, nigga. That's why he always takes 15 minutes to answer the fucking door. He's fucking got to finish his song I'm up here, first. Like, <laughs> I'm up here doing a butterfly, nigga. I'm up here. Just shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm not doing none of that stupid fuck shit, it, nigga. Hey. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't like that music. I don't like, I don't, I don't listen to that shit. I'm not real big on uh, female rap for some reason because it's real aggressive lately. And I'm like, damn, bitch. Like, I don't relate to that shit. I'm not here. I'm not out here trying to fucking scam and fuck niggas. That's it. I don't want to sit here talking. Talk, these bitches talking about doing all sorts of shit, nigga. I'm not trying to do none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I don't relate to it. I'm just saying, like, if it, if it comes on, I'm not going to like, oh, let me get you talking about it's on. It's just in the, it's in the mix. You know what I mean? If it comes no on. Way, but, you, but you are you are crazy. I listen to a lot of rappers, I don't, I don't. I don't. Spice before I listen to fucking nav. That shit. That yeah. sounds. That sounds like cap. Okay. That is cap as fuck. Nigga. Definitely just, never yeah, just, that. just say you don't fuck with Nav, nigga. Just say you don't fuck with right. Nav. That's it's just say that. Right. Just I'm say fine. that. I'm just said I'd rather listen to Nice Spice. No, than just say you I don't would fuck argue with that. Better, a better that no, guy. say that. Say that. Say that's it. more standing on that shit. Right. Stand on your shit. That's more yeah. standing on your shit. Just say I don't fuck with that nigga Nav, nigga. That's what just say I, that. I prefer Ice Spice than Nav. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Any fucking way. Anyway. So what's wrong with that? Oh, nonchalant shots and shit. Not nonchalant. I just I just said I prefer. Well, you said his name out of all the people in rapping. It's gonna be anybody. Well, I prefer I prefer Kramer's. I prefer a Kramer over a Squirter, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Racism against white. When did racism against white people become okay? Yeah. Joe Biden put white people last in line for COVID relief funds. Kamala Harris said disaster aid should go to non-white citizens first. Liberal politicians block access to medicine based on skin color. Progressive corporations, airlines, universities, all openly discriminate against white Americans. Racism is always wrong. The left's anti-white bigotry must stop. We are all entitled to equal treatment under law. America First Legal paid for this ad. She got to stop. Hey, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> that's, hey, come fuck on. you, got you play, nigga. Play the button on it. Fuck yeah, you, gotta nigga. Hold on. That is, that's got to be gotta fucking be racist. racist. There's no way. Wait, wait, when do we get discriminated on? Y'all motherfuckers, y'all feeling like y'all feeling threatened. Nigga. They were y'all feeling, feeling threatened. Like, white people, white people like really feel threatened. They they're feel like, like, hey, there's more funds for you guys uh, than for us. Well, there's there's more black people. You're you taking all. Yeah, there's a lot of that shit, bro. Hey, we white people, white people really feel like they about to be. Com- hey, we gave you enough, pal. Race. They're starting to feel like they're going extinct. Right. Hey. Yeah. At that's first, I is. thought this was bro. At first, I thought this was a Saturday that Saturday Night Live skit. Nigga. That's, that's a real commercial. This shit is real, nigga. That's not a real. This commercial. This shit is a, a real, real Georgia fucking. Have you commercial, not nigga. seen how commercials have gone for politicians right. recently? This is this is what they on. Right. Wildlands. Call a crackhead. They Call put, a motherfucker <laughs> crackhead. They are nigga. pushing the limits on what you are allowed to say in an advertisement. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, little Stogie up uh, with weed uh, that one time. Ever he's he's in a bando. Yeah, we ever. had the one dude with the we had the one dude with the guns. That like a whole his whole house was get like raided by like, that was some, a black some white politician. Yeah, we've had that. We've got the dude who smokes weed. With the dude who dropped a sex tape. Like they're wilding right. out here. The politicians are just wilding in their campaign videos. Y'all got white people be on that lame. The caucasity. The caucasity. White people be also they be also lame shit sometimes, man. And this is just like I don't know what's wrong with us. This man. is just this is just like you know denial. This is just racist denial. Like, hey, we, we we see it equal enough, but I don't like it. Yeah. The oppressed, like, they, like, we the oppressed, oppressed, the oppressor 
can never become or be oppressed. You motherfuckers have committed genocide, rape, hey, slavery. Relax, 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 relax. It's the truth. That's Don't say you truth. guys. That's the, definitely That's the truth. Don't say white. white people. You people. Say white people. You people. Oh, what do you mean, that? you people? Say white people. You motherfuckers. It's definitely murdered. not you. Y'all, y'all have committed all I prefer sorts the whites. of. I prefer the whites. Uh, yeah. Y'all have committed all sorts of fucking atrocities. But you. He loves saying that. All shit. around the world. I mean, it's y'all the only white people around here. So, I mean, what I'm going to do? I'm going to point this way and be like, y'all white people. They watching. He said, oh, they're watching. <laughs> oh, they're watching, buddy. There's some whites in the crowd. They're watching, buddy. We got, we got some white allies out there, y'all. They right? wa- yeah. They're watching, chime buddy. Y'all got the al- white Fuck ally. Fuck that, nigga. No, y'all don't chime in, nigga. Yeah, chime in. Chime in the, chime in the comments. Drop a... Tr- right. I can, I, can, I can hit Drop it. Drop a white heart. No. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Don't do that. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Just kidding for white ally support. You are as wild, nigga. No, but... uh. I, you know what, it's just, you know, yeah, white people just be, you know, white people. whites are white and the whites are white. I could just hit them. Hang that nigga now. Whoa, oh, I got shit. the rope right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Who, who said that? Who said that? That's uh, Boondocks. We're going to get fucking canceled, dog. I know well, we said episode 131. Be There's no way. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. It's been a lot of Hey, race. my new favorite video is uh, Juicy said, keep life in your... Like he, said, he said, keep God in your life. He said, fuck, boy. But he said... You know oh, I, mean? I ain't see that. I don't see that one. I ain't see that one. No? I know. I see that one. He posts up to like a crackhead or something like that. I don't know what it is. I see the tail end of it, and he like hands him a, a, a 20, and he, he said, he said, keep God in your life. Fuck. Fuck, nigga. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That nigga Drewski. <laughs> hilarious. Drewski has turned into one of like my favorite comedians, nigga. Like at first, at first, I at first, like I didn't get it. I wasn't a fan. You know, but you get his com- the more, comedy but now? like the more I start seeing this nigga clips come across my page when that nigga start you acting so like a bitch videos, and shit like so that. Funny. Yeah, when you missed so to- many classic videos along the way where you just didn't get it. Like Drewski they're so is funny. Hilarious, nigga. Drewski is he is a He's that dude, bro. He is hilarious, nigga. Kudos Shout out to, to uh, Drewski. Drewski, nigga. Shout out to That's nigga. gotta be racist. There's no way. Y'all see that nigga, uh, Martin Luther King. Fun fact. Fun Martin fact for Luther y'all. Martin Luther King paid for Julia Roberts' birth. For for yeah, his mom when, when her mom went in birth in hospital. MLK. Uh, he paid the hospital bills. He paid the hospital bills. He paid the hospital bills. And I guess they Martin they said Luther King. You got audio on that. I, I, you know what? I do. I do have a play the audio because that was a cool audio. It says, a "Where little, is it at?" She was talking with uh Gail K. Yeah. Where is the? And oh, she's like, you know, your research. Right and I thought that was cool that that. that I just sh- want to take a step back for you, Julia, because you have two historical figures that I'll bet most people don't know this about you. Your brush with. Let's start with the day you were born. Who paid for the hospital bill? Okay. Her research is very good. We're professionals. This is a, um, uh, the King family paid for my hospital bill. Not my family. Not your family, but. Um, Martin Luther King Jr. And Coretta. Th- and how did that come about? <laughs> well. I mean, did you guys know that about Julia Roberts? <laughs> that, that's what I said. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King Jr. Why did they do that? Because um, well, your dad, Walter Roberts. Yes, and obviously because my parents couldn't pay for the hospital bill, um, they my parents had a theater school in Atlanta called the Actors and Writers Workshop. And one day, Coretta Scott King called my mother and asked if her, her kids Horrible. could be part of the school because they were ha- having a hard time finding um, a place that would accept her kids. And my mom was like, sure, come on over. And so they just all became friends and they helped us out of a jam. Yeah, because in the 60s, you didn't have little black children interacting with little white kids right. in acting school. Right. And your parents were like, come on in. Yeah. I think that's extraordinary. Yeah. And it sort of lays the groundwork for who you are. Oh, absolutely. Let's go. Fire. I definitely oh. look at her different now. I definitely, because I, I definitely expected her to be like the little, you know, paisley white fucking uh, daffodil dress white girl. Yeah, she got nigga in her somewhere. Yeah, oh God. Oh God. 
You went extreme with she it. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't be here. If, <laughs> Julia Roberts wouldn't be here for wasn't for black people. Pretty Woman would never have been made if it wasn't for black people. I mean, she paid. He paid the bill. Aaron Brockovich <laughs> would have never been fucking made if it wasn't Pretty for woman? Martin Luther King. Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Twelve. Ocean's Twelve. <laughs> Ocean's Thirteen. Ocean's Thirteen, nigga. What? <laughs> And don't you fucking say that this that it was, was 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 that was that Martin Luther King, King uh, dream was that his dream? That was his dream. <laughs> that nigga said, wait a minute. Bill. I can see this. I can see this white bitch taking over uh, Hollywood right now. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Hold my beer. Coretta, wait. <laughs> Coretta, I got, I got one. I got one thing left. Shout to do. out to Martin Luther King, man. You know Martin Luther oh, King is like one of he is my favorite. He is like my number one favorite motherfucker, man. <laughs> He is my baby. He's my favorite. <laughs> he is my favorite person yeah, of all time, bro. That's funny. It's Martin funny to King. word it that way. That's, that's, that's my favorite. My favorite right right there. There. No, I ain't mean. I ain't mean. Like I like that Julia Roberts didn't whore this detail of her life out. Wow, whore what? Jesus. What? I don't think we need to. Right. I didn't call her a whore. I said I'm glad she didn't whore this detail out in her life because oh she because she because she could have easily got the popular about? vote vote with that. Why do you keep calling her a whore? Why do you keep calling? Because she was a whore. She was a whore. Been pretty, fucking pretty oh, woman. I got you. What was he talking about? Oh. With a little squinty eyed bastard. Who was his name? Oh, Richard Gere. Yeah, the Pierce Brosnan oh, knockoff. Oh my god, nigga, that shit is hilarious, nigga. Okay, Pierce Shout Brosnan. out to Martin Luther King. Hey, one more time, you bro. I love you, man. Rest in peace, bro. All right, let's go ahead and move into some fucking sports. Bang! Bang! It's good. There's a lot of things happening all day. It's the front of Sammy boy. First on the docket, Steve Nash has finally been fired from the Brooklyn Nets. God Nets. damn. Put you that went, nigga ass in the dirt. <laughs> you went the fuck off. <laughs> Smoking on Pookie Load tonight. Took him long enough to get that soccer player nigga up out of there. Hey, <laughs> of course it was an ex-Suns member to fucking tank the best fucking triple oh. ever. Listen. Superstar oh. ever. They just oh. wasn't respecting Steve Nash. There wasn't listening to him. Steve basically. Nash was tired of them niggas, man. I am so tired of this nigga. Curry. Curry. They don't fucking listen to me. This nigga Kevin out of here. Don't won't be here. He won't brush his fucking hair. Kyrie These talking niggas about won't play with each other. Jewish people now. Like, this nigga won't put lotion on his legs. Kevin Durant, is, look, his oh toes are all God. fucked up. Oh my God! Got ben Simmons who ain't played in this two nigga, years. This nigga Ben Simmons is aver- averaging five points a fucking Why game. Why did we ever accept him to come he over air- here? He, he airballed. He airballed the fucking uh, layup. Camera was row. pissed. He said, "Nigga, hey yeah. man, go play with some Kardashian pussy, nigga. Don't get the fuck out the NBA, nigga. Airballing layups, nigga, in warmups. You see warm-ups. him like James like Harden Kyrie yelled defense. at him, right? No, I didn't see that. Oh, when they were on the court, yeah, Ky- Kyrie." Just the ball when he was down there and like was telling him to shoot. He was under the he was literally under the hoop and he went past it. And he was yelling at him to shoot. He was oh. like, oh. Boy ain't no way, boy. Yeah. Boy ain't no way, boy. <laughs> yeah, Steve Nash don't wanna deal with this shit. At all. Yeah. Why would I want to deal with this nigga? Uh why would I want to deal with Kyrie, who was who was the Kanye of the NBA? Kevin Durant don't even fucking want me here. And a nigga that's scared to shoot! I'm out. I'm the fuck out, nigga. I'm out of here. This is definitely nigga. like you know, like, you know a teacher get a class and then, you know, they it's just fucked up behavior. There's just no possible way to control. They are just not. You're not able to control. There's nothing I can do. I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm out. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. out. Nah, fuck Y'all this. Y'all can have this shit. Y'all can have this shit. Y'all me. can have this shit. And they're planning on hiring Ime Udoka as the replacement. <laughs> he said, hey, yeah, yeah, doing new they, hey, low key, maybe they got him for a steal, though, because of what's going on. I'm like, hey, you're going to come over here. We're going to we're gonna help you out. We're going to give you some. He you was know. already he was already uh, an assistant coach at the Nets yeah. before he went to the Boston uh, hey, Celtics. Yeah, so who's, who's the owner? Uh, was Jay-Z on the part of the Nets, right? He used to. He, he used sold to. it for Yeah. No, but it's he funny. Went to, he made it was like, hey, listen, we got one condition. 
we don't cheat over here. No, nah, they should let Hope. Hope. They should let Hope fuck the staff. We, we don't, 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 don't fuck, fuck the staff, staff bro. Go fuck the don't staff, fuck, bro. Hey, I got one condition. Don't, don't let you catch keep with my, my fingertips. What do you, what do you say? Your, your hand in my cookie jar. You feel yeah, me, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, they should. It's time to call Hove into coach. So they're going to respond to Hell Hove. Hell no. Now, if Hove tell you to do something, you're going to do it. Now with them three and a half gross ass grants he got. Hove don't know how to run a triangle offense. Listen, he's going to figure it out. When is Hove not figuring it out? Hove don't know how to run. Hey, yo, come here, yo, KD. Hey, 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 KD, come here, come here, man. Hey, man, hey, you gotta run the, you gotta run the, the triangle. Rock you gotta run the triangle. You they gotta were run the rock up, up the way. entire Black Adam. You go up this way, Kyrie. You go up this way. Hey, yo, Ben, you come down this way, and then Joe, Joe, uh, Joe Harris, you come over here. We make the diamond, the rock, like Jay Z, the building. Why, like, hey. why are you rhyming? Why, why are you rhyming right now? Right, like, like nigga, we're need. Nah, all I'm telling you, if Hope, if Hope ever became a coach and got a ring, like the 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 next album would be wild talk. Like the things he would talk about, like <laughs> yeah. The boss level is like, you can't tell me anything. I want a fucking ring. I'm a ring. billionaire. I got a ring with a squad. You know what I mean? I, I did that. And I never and I never played a lick of basketball in college. Look, I don't even fucking know the game. Who's I really the most, who's the most at, that well. unathletic uh, celebrity rapper or rapper? We're, we're limited to rapper. Who's the most unathletic? Probably, uh, probably uh, Lil Baby. Have you seen Lil Baby shoot, nigga? Have you seen him dance? Like, Lil Durk. Uh, well, well, no. Lil Durk can play basketball. Lil Durk can play basketball, but two chains, two chains uh, can everything, play. Everything everything Hove does is looks a little a little awkward. Like you see him riding a bicycle, it just looks weird. On a jet ski, he just yeah. I don't know. He like, just looks uncomfortable in every setting. Yeah, but I'm, that should be making me mad. Does, like how the too. fuck y'all niggas grew up in the hood and you don't know how to throw a fucking fastball? A, a, you don't know how to a catch bike. a bat. You don't know how to catch a football. He you can't ride a bike. He was selling keys when you was. Scraping your That's knees. all niggas was doing, selling drugs, nigga. Y'all niggas, y'all didn't, y'all didn't go outside to actually play, nigga. Y'all was, nah, nigga, B. nigga was like, you're playing with the bricks. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> you playing with Legos? I was playing with bricks. Pause. That nigga Ime Udoka had. Uh, they look as soon as Ime Udoka was uh, announced as the possible replacement. Ime Udoka had repeatedly sent inappropriate messages to women on the Celtic staff. They already preyed on that man downfall. Like nah, he. You sure? You right. sure you want to do that? Did Come y'all on. did y'all hear the did y'all hear the voice message? Did y'all hear the voice messages that they released? They released them. Yes, like listen to it. Hold on, let me listen to it. Let, 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 listen to it. Sitting here fantasizing by laying you on your stomach and tuning that big old red ass up and spreading <laughs> and folding the big old red ass cheeks and long digging that pussy till it's squirting and farting, squirting and farting, squirting and farting. <laughs> Got that dookie hole soaking wet, soaking wet, soaking what the wet. Fuck? I'm throwing that back and it's gripping and hugging, gripping and hugging, gripping and hugging the dick. No making it grip and fart, grip and fart, grip and fart. <laughs> stroke out of stroke out of stroke, making that pussy squirt and fart, squirt and fart, squirt and fart. You throwing oh, that back, and gripping shit. and hugging, All gripping right. and hugging, gripping and hugging the dick. I still got it gripping and fart, gripping and fart, gripping and fart, gripping and fart, gripping and fart. It was stoke, I'm hitting the core, making it fart. It was stoke, I'm hitting the core, making it fart. It was stoke, I'm hitting the core, in the bottom of the clip, and making it fart. That's an old video from, that's an old video from the Facebook thing, but it's mad funny. Oh my fucking God. Soaking wet. That dude's <laughs> Oh my god. That's a wild message to send. That bro was having sex with himself on the phone. What what message have you ever sent? Never, never what never. appropriate message have you ever sent a bitch you fucking? Like you've never sent no inappropriate. You That's always, not what I that said was from, eggplants. Though. That's not I said eggplants. I said the tongue with the with the uh, with the water on the side. Was I said like I'm about to eat. I'm ready to eat. I sent my girlfriend a random dick pic one time, and she like completely just ignored it, and was like, "Yeah, today just, today is really hell at work today, babe." Nigga, I sent the bitch a random dick pic, and the police called me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Uh, Mr. Butler." Uh, yeah, this is Detective Smith. What detective? No, I'm just fucking with you. I never did that. Anyway, um, yeah, man, um, yeah, though, so they uh fire Steve Nash and uh yeah, Ime Udoka it, yeah. is the uh replacement. possible we'll replacement. See. So yeah, 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 man, uh, what else is going on in Bang! sports? Bang! It's oh good. yeah, Kyrie. Speaking of Kyrie, Shaq and uh Charles Barkley called this nigga Kyrie an idiot. idiot. 
And they were also saying that uh, the league should have suspended Kyrie for the anti-Semitic comments that he said and, you know, going off with the reporter. You know what I'm saying? Him going back and forth with the reporter. See, and what makes you think that Charles Barkley and Shaq care that much? You know what I mean? I mean, they are are Hall of Famers. They know. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're blood, sweat, and tears in the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're league ambassadors. You know what I'm saying? And when Charles and Shaq speak, nigga, you listen, right? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? No matter what dumb shit come out their fucking mouth, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's but that's that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, either you're gonna get some smart shit, you know, some profound shit, or you're gonna get some stupid shit. But let's yeah, let's listen to what uh Charles Barkley had to say about Kyrie Irving. I think the NBA dropped the ball. In what way? Uh, I think he should have been suspended. Uh, I think Adam should have suspended him. First of all, Adam's Jewish. You can't take my $40 million and insult my religion. If you're going to insult me, you have the right. But I have the right to say, no, you're not going to take my $40 million and insult my religion. I think the NBA, they made a mistake. We have suspended people and fined people who have made homophobic slurs. Uh, and that, that was the right thing to do. I think if you insult the, uh, the black community, you should be suspended or fined heavily, depending. I saw they did. The He's same just trying thing to play the fair game. Minnesota this year when he made the gay slur. I think you should get suspended or fined. I think him acknowledging the Alex Jones things should have something should have happened with that too, because that dude's crazy. And hmm. I, I can't believe that we ain't talking about that. We're talking about this idiot, and. When you say, when, when you, if, if I say, hey, I'm agreeing with this movie, this book, or whatever, I'm agreeing with it. I, I'm not going to put, I, first of all, you know I don't do any social media, but when you're somebody as great as basketball like him, people going to listen to you what you say. It's, it, it, then you, and there's some fringe people out there, but like I say, I, I blame the NBA. He should have been suspended. And their conversations are continuing. Thoughts? He seemed a little aggressive I mean, wrong. on that. He's not wrong, but he seemed a little aggressive. Yeah, calling a nigga an idiot is kind of like crossing the line. You know, those are those are fighting words. That it, like, it professionally. Yeah, that and they, he, he just why why do you have to realize? I don't know. Like, As you, you're you OG, you know, I mean, someone who's who's older than you who knows him, they you're it's like you know your grandfather calling you an idiot. You're like you gotta you gotta accept that. It's not really. I don't think that's crossing the line. You know what I mean? It was more. It was more. It was more or less the effort he was putting in letting motherfuckers know how he felt about the Kyrie. Like, why do you right. care so much, Loki? Is well, well, why I, I was mean, concerned. Well, I mean, like I said, he's played. He's he's played years in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like he like like these like these like Charles Parkley and and Shaq like they are loyal. But to he the was NBA so outspoken. Talking about I'm not a role model. Well, they're passionate. You know what I mean? They're passionate about they're passionate about the players and them playing basketball. Yeah. But what I'm saying is Charles Barkley was always that person that's like, you know, don't look for me to be a role model. Like I'm not a role model. That was his he slogan. Did, he did he did say that. So I don't I I, I don't why I don't I don't I didn't expect that from you. Right. Being so passionate on wanting him to get suspended. Well, I think that he's saying like that's what it should be across the board. Is if you're right, you're he's making, playing a fair game. Yeah, inappropriate comments about people's race, about people's religion, about sex. people's sex, about people's gender, whatever it is. Got to be held gotta, accountable. Got to be held accountable for what you say. Yeah. Right. So and I get I, it. And I think. And I think that. You're not saying banish Kyrie from the right. fucking NBA no. and get rid of this guy. It's just like, yo, you need to. Not say if you continue to say this shit, you're gonna continue to get in worse trouble. I just yeah, and I honestly believe that, like he, they're tired of these niggas talking. It's yeah. like they're tired of hearing about them in the media, about their all opinions the on the off court, all this shit. Yes, yeah. all these opinions. Yeah, but when we, you don't even you don't even play all the games. Like you're not you're not even fucking reliable. Right, and you're not even you're not even showing up. You're not even performing well. Like just the other night, that nigga put up four points. He was causing like, more drama yeah. off the court than on the court. Right. Yeah. She was just as a liability as fucking Ben Simmons. Blew a, a double digit lead to the Bulls. Thanks. And I love Kyrie because I love Kyrie and his his basketball talent. I love that you know whatever issue that he does talk about, he stand on that shit. He's not afraid to um to defend himself in the he media. Stand on it. He stand on his shit. And I know that's KD's what I applaud just him. Out so bad. 
I know KD just want to get the, yeah. KD just want to get the fuck out of here. He got. You think he moves before day, trade deadline? I believe that one of them does do, does move before the trade. Well, they're deadline. gonna get rid of Kyrie before they get rid of KD, but KD already wants out. Well, this team, this team is a failure. It's an abject failure. Oh my god, it's terrible. This Brooklyn project, Brooklyn Nets project. They got an F on that project. Right, right. Shit went left. Shit went left fast. Man, they they ran through so much talent. They had so many people there. I don't there. understand. Blake Griffin. Yeah, like, Blake Griffin, James Harden, Kyrie, Aldridge, KD, Aldridge. Aldridge. Yeah, they were, yeah, so DeAndre many DeAndre Jordan. Yeah. They had, uh, what's was, homeboy, what's homeboy name, uh, what's homeboy name that play for the Cavaliers now with the Afro? He oh, was playing, no, not Colin Sexton. No, he, he no, um, I forgot his name, but he's oh, the center for the Cavaliers, yeah, 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 but he was about. just playing in Brooklyn. Now he's over in Cav- now he's over in Cleveland killing it. Yeah. Him and Donovan Mitchell. Forgot his fucking name, man, but uh but yeah, man, like um I just think that they just tied they just tied a they just tied a um hearing hearing this nigga Kyrie name brought up in the media instead of seeing this nigga play. So but yeah. uh but them calling him an idiot, that's yeah, that's kind of crossing the line. Um so. Clippers, you you think that nigga Kyrie an idiot? I'm not saying that's my statement. I don't think it's I don't think it's inappropriate that Charles Barkley said it. I, he's an older man who, like, I, I don't care. I don't think it's a big deal that Charles Barkley man, said it. Man, but but guess what? That man, I don't know that man. He don't know me. And but maybe they keep does your motherfucking know him. comments to yourself. Keep my name out your motherfucking Mr. mouth. Mr. I'm not a role I don't, model. I don't, listen, I'm, I'm just saying, like, not to say that Charles Barkley is the smartest person in the world, but like, Kyrie has a history of wild personal beliefs like that the Earth. Is oh, it's flat. Charles. So that's why he should be understanding. Fuck that. Charles threw somebody through a fucking glass window. Um, let me see. Let's go ahead and move on. We got fucking um Bang! Bang! Oh, Let's go. This thing of Kawhi Leonard, man. Yeah, shout out them Clippers. Oh my you guys are doing great. God, dude. Oh so are you. God. Isn't he coming off the bench too? So he's not even starting. He's and not he's even getting playing. Into the he's not even playing. Jesus Christ. This is concerning because the Clippers Blow it up. are not winning the West. They are not winning a championship. They're shit. They not getting to the playoffs. Well, I believe they can still they get to the playoffs. Today. I believe they can get to the playoffs with just um with just Paul George, Jawan John Wall, and uh, Reggie Jackson and the crew. That's not enough but, to get it done. But these niggas, this is the most hurt collective of hurt niggas in the league. I swear to God, you guys might as well just go ask for Anthony Davis. Just no. another glass, no. glass person. No, there. no, no. Kawhi we good. Done. We good with Zubac. We good with fucking Zubac. Kawhi is done. We good with Zubac. Uh, yeah. What you say? Kawhi. He's done. No. His career is finished. That nigga. See, look, because this nigga went out for ACL and MC, MCL. Um, He's not tears. Kobe. And usually, you supposed to. Um, you know, normally you sit your ass down for heal your within, life, and that's you heal ending. within. You heal within like Could. twelve months. It's been well over 16, 17 months. And he's still doing his load management. Now he's not even traveling with the fucking team. He's making sure he's getting back to one hundred percent health. I guess. Yeah, but I mean. you're in the so either be out or be in. Yeah. Right. All this load management shit. Come in here I'm, and just put ten points up, twelve points up a night. This shit is killing the game. Every this other, is ruining other, the game. Every other four games, and we still don't. It win. is because because you want to have longevity type shit. Yeah, and then you want you want to see your stars play. Don't nobody want to come see fucking Reggie Jackson and the crew. They want to they see Kawhi and fucking John Wall and motherfucking Paul George. I feel like they just need a better leader of that team. Nigga, worry about your motherfucking team. Nigga. We're number one in the West right now. Now, and, 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 and y'all was number one in the West last year and the year before that. And how the fuck did that, how the fuck did that end up for you? <laughs> Stop talking about my fucking team. Keep my team out your fucking mouth, nigga. Damn, I thought a team below 500 said something. Yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't matter, nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all act like a team below five hundred when y'all get to the playoffs, nigga. Yeah, how many games is it? In, is beat you. Look, 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 who? Do we beat look you? Look at what? You didn't even get a chance to look see. Look at who? Look at what? Shut and, the fuck we, up. We Shut put up. them to bed early this Shut year. Shut up, y'all. Even, y'all, y'all don't even like each other. Look at that dude. Put him look to bed. Look at that nigga. Look at that nigga. Put shut the that, fucking shut that sun. shit down in Dallas. Down. Once, once, shut well, honestly, ass once down. LeBron retires, I might fuck around and, and, and stick to uh, Luca. Pause. I like, I'm just yeah. saying, like, well, hey, yo, I'm just hold saying, on. like, I'm just saying, like, this is concerning because we not doing shit in the West yeah. if Kawhi is not fucking playing. Um, Thanks. yeah, that's that's bullshit. But uh, 
But did y'all see all the trades that happened in the NFL? Yeah. Yeah, I seen some. The Ravens got Roquan, Roquan motherfucking Smith, nigga. Okay. The one of the best motherfucking pass rushers in the game, nigga. Something that the Arizona Cardinals fucking need. With they sorry ass, Arizona sorry ass sports fucking fucking city. <laughs> the Dolphins got Bradley Chubb from the Broncos. That shit now. That that now yeah. now they, now the uh, now the Dolphins they look like a strong ass fucking team in that division. Now they got somebody to chase Josh Allen and fucking uh, Patrick Mahomes around. Since the Bills went and got um uh what's his name um Clay fuck is his the name? Bears okay um, who the fuck the Bills Himes. got. No, well, they did get Naeem Hines. Yeah, they did get Naeem Hines uh, running back because Devin Singletary just ain't been fucking doing it. I don't know why they don't use Devin Singletary more, man. That should be that should be gay as fuck. They don't be uh, using them more, man, because fucking Josh Allen runs all over the fucking field his damn self. But TJ Hawkinson to the Vikings. Jeez. Yeah, saw that. So they finna, they, they, that air attack finna be fucking crazy. Yeah, they got a nice squad. And the Packers didn't do shit. Neither did the Cardinals. Yeah, so... <laughs> Season is a fucking wrap for those uh, franchises because that nigga Aaron Rodgers have been playing like shit. Kyler Murray still just runs around in the fucking They're just runs getting around like the a, field. And, a late start to even trying to get up back to winning with um, D Hop back. So we're not doing anything this year. Yeah, niggas finna get fired. They finna get fired. Niggas is finna get fired. I think it's time. Yeah. Other than that, man, let's get it to do we give a fuck or do we not give a fuck? Hey, yo, what the fuck? I'm easy. This is interesting. Miss Argentina and Mm. Miss Puerto Rico revealed Mm. that they're married. Mm. They kept their relationships a secret since a meeting at Miss Grand International 2020. They've been scissoring since then. And they have been rubbing pussies. Oh ever my since, God, what a nigga. fantasy. <laughs> That's a threesome waiting to happen. Man, fuck they marriage, nigga. Where the tape at? Right. Where that OnlyFans at? Release it. Where that OnlyFans at? You I'm t- here for the munch. Two beautiful ass bitches that got I'm together. I'm here for the munch. I bet they pussy fart so good. <laughs> I bet you they pussy you fart. Play you play that shit up, motherfucker. Play that shit again. Oh, <laughs> that play that shit again. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to see a squirt contest, nigga. Yo, I'm trying to see to them bitches. I'm trying yeah, to see who who, who, who shoot the farthest. Oh God, who shoot the farthest out of the two? I'm trying to get between them. Puerto Rico, because they're because they're uh, there's more water around Puerto Rico. Mm. Oh, that's a, that's a spicy ass. Oh, that bedroom spicy. Them kids gonna be beautiful, nigga. Oh my. God. God, nigga, and keep Nick Cannon the fuck away, away from, from them. Nick Cannon, mind your motherfucking business. Right, one sex session, he gonna have 14 babies with I him. can see this nigga Nick Cannon expecting 50th child with Miss Puerto Rico and Miss Argentina. And you know they fertile out there. And Miss Brazil. And oh Miss Brazil, nigga. What the fuck, nigga? Here I was thinking I'm, I, I, I could go through November without nothing. I swear to God, if, was, my, was trying to, if we ever get no. famous, and <laughs> Nick Cannon is not invited to any of our parties ever. Right, why? Nick Cannon is not invited to any of our why? parties. Why do you have to ask that? You don't that? want to snipe your opportunity? He's not, about, he's not about to procreate with any of that my bitches. About to, that nigga Nick Cannon ain't invited to your fucking party. He fucking your bitch. Right. No. He's impregnating her ass. Absolutely. Right. What do you mean? Oh God, what do you mean nigga. absolutely Nick not? You don't have a choice? What? <laughs> yes, I, I know that's not. No, she, she's like, hey, she babe. Never fuck Nick listen, Cannon. Listen, Jess is gonna come to you at the party, give you her ring back, like, my babe. That can actually rap. <laughs> my bitch yeah, is gonna but, do the same thing too. Yeah, but that nigga richer than every fucking rapper you right. can name, nigga. Matter. He got right. he got more money than any rapper. I don't care. You and Loki only than you, that's not and true. you and Loki will be okay with it at the end of the day. No, and niggas need to fuck. And niggas need to niggas need to stop acting like these niggas can't fuck your bitch. Right? Because they can't stop. Stop. Stop acting can. like that, nigga. Well, I know they can. When they when they not when they not around, so naive. when your ass not around, quick. I know my man, nigga. Let me let me leave Trey songs around my fucking girl, nigga. She's yeah, fucking Whoa. that nigga. Yeah. Let my girl, Mr. Steal think, Your Girl. I don't think that's the right person to name. If me, Leonardo DiCaprio walked into my house right now, my girl would hop into that nigga's arms, nigga. Facts. Yeah, but he, and I wouldn't have. I couldn't do shit about he it. He only dates women between the ages of eighteen and twenty. Oof. Wow, you out of line for I, that I was shit, thinking dude. it, but you said it. That's what he said. Got that Duke your hoes soaking wet, soaking wet, soaking wet. You throwing that back and it's gripping and hugging, gripping and hugging, gripping and hugging the dick. No, making it grip and fart, grip and fart. 
Why was he Grip so aggressive? Fart. Stroke out of stroke out of stroke, making that pussy squirt and fart. <laughs> and fart. And fart, though. Why is he just farting? Why couldn't he say queef? Why does he got to keep on saying fart and fart and fart? Oh, oh, oh nasty niggas motherfucker. Like it, niggas, niggas like it, bitches. Pussy fart, nigga. That is so fucking cringe, nigga. That is cringe as he's fuck, a yeah, girl, I hear you. I hear you farting. Oh, my God. I like, the, I like to see, them, I like to see the bubbles like, just like form when you, when you make the fucking pussy fart. What? From my understanding, that was... He sent that to some. That was just like a random girl. He was just hitting up. Like it was like he just was started sending her voice messages. Oh my! She was, wasn't responding. Uh, like she didn't respond to any flattering? of that shit. He was just sending that oh shit to try and woo her. It was so fucking funny. But so you uh, know what make her go crazy? If I just go talking crazy. Nah, I'm just crazy. I don't give a fuck. Facts. That nigga Gucci Mane dropped his artist Baby Rax after Baby Rax tweeted he's not accepting bookings in Houston. What's oh, crazy yeah. is that him getting kicked off the label was more promo. I, that's how I first heard. I've never heard of this dude before this. Damn, and I heard about him getting kicked off. That's the best promotion he could have ever got for his career. How this nigga get? How you get signed and released in the same? And why, why he don't want to go to Houston? Day. This is the takeoff situation. Which was, oh, the takeoff situation happened in Houston. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Scary ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Gucci. He's scary. That's Gucci, why. Yeah, it, it makes this, sense now. He's scary. Nigga, this 1017 Brick Squad, nigga. Ain't no bitches over here. Right, ain't no motherfucking bitches Fuck you over here, about nigga. Brick Squad. Right, nigga. We go where conflict is, nigga. We create the conflict. Oh boy, did say he still got the check from Atlantic though. He said he, man, that shit cleared still. Yeah. See, guess what? That. CEO got a body. You think we don't give a fuck about our street cred right. around here? Why? What, nigga? Damn. Gucci caught a body in the fucking city he fucking lives in, nigga. He's still there. Crazy. Stay on air, nigga. Come get me, set. Put that nigga ass in the dirt. I tell you what. Yeah. Smoking on poop. That's some scary tonight. ass shit. Him tweeting out, oh, I'll never want to go to Houston. Nah, don't buck me because you should have never it's been too hot. You should have never been rubbing shoulders with. You Gucci ain't about Mane, that man. life, then. Right. You should have never been about rubbing. That life. You should have. You should have chosen another. Like, you should have went to Universal. Cause we like that over here. Over here, at ten seventeen. We went the shits over here, nigga. We went the shits. Ba, 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 ba. Brick squad! Bow, 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 bow. bow. <laughs> right. Yeah, man, but homeboy fucked up, man. He fucked up. But uh, in the Drop, end. Fumble the fact. Yeah, but in the end. I don't give a fuck. What else? Uh, Elon is just hitting the ground running with Twitter um, and asking interesting questions. He asked if he should bring Vine back. Yes. Do we need Vine again? Hell yeah. I love Seven Vine. second clips. Yeah. I'll fuck with Vine. Um, I guess Vine was previously acquired by Twitter uh, Previously before they shut it down um, He also said that he's Blue checks for all He's uh, charging $8 for uh, You to have your account verified You pay for Twitter Blue You'll get a blue check um, If you're a public figure You'll not have something under your name Saying like what you do Well I own Twitter So I can do whatever the fuck I want And that basically makes the blue check meaningless Meaningless Exactly but it does give you like it, what it does is if you don't pay for it, you're you're not prioritized. So people who have like the little who pay the eight dollars a month, your comments on other people's videos, everything they're prioritized to be viewed more often than right. people who aren't who aren't paying. Right. So, I don't get no fuck. Um, does it? Yeah, it does make the blue check worthless, but it also forces you to still pay for it. I'm so glad. I'm 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 use, I'm still gonna use Twitter for free. I do like that he is planning to use that that funding though to start paying content creators. Twitter's the only platform that has content creators on it that post the content there and don't get paid for it. Oh wow! Yeah, there's, you, Twitter does not pay you for your tweets going viral. Ooh. So he is using it, but, but Twitter's also been broke for a long time. Like they don't have money, so this is him trying to turn that around. To raise money for Shut Twitter. Sure, the fuck they ain't get money. They was paying. They had money. They was paying motherfuckers seventeen million a year. They're they're, they're spending more than now. they're making though, so they're always in the red. So they're really not. They're they're spending way more than they're making. Oh wow! They just get no funding sense. from investors. Funding from like they just constantly getting new new. Well, money. the people that was advertisers running. like they do have advertisers. They're just spending more than they can, you know, handle. That's Eli cool. Musk said, "I'll do it." That's I'll why. Take they, him out the why do you think they took that offer? So when he tweeted out he wanted to buy Twitter. 
they, this yes done. Let's bind it. Or let's do it immediately. Well, and then sued him over him saying he didn't want to do it anymore. They broke. They and then he money. had to buy it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, if we can get out of this shit for 44 bill, out. Gone. Right. Let's go. Fire me, nigga. <laughs> just pay me. But he but he bought Twitter just, just so he ain't have to pay people in their severances. But you know what I'm saying? He still had to get paid out. But not yeah. like they full. Not they full shit. Fire people. Either he way. ain't cleaning the house. Like, he he owns Twitter now. That's his shit. Yeah, I don't want none of that old shit. I don't want none of that old influence the old in this regime, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, I don't want that up in here and shit, man. But yeah, that blue check's going to be meaningless. Um, You know, motherfuckers going to know you pay for it because they know you ain't shit. How the fuck you got a blue check and you got 10 followers, nigga? And uh, other social media news, Tumblr said they're, they're letting porn come back. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> They said, hey, you guys can come back here for those needs. And fart, squirt, and fart. You throwing it back. <laughs> that, that's that's, that's going to be the new fucking, that's the new one right there. That's hilarious. <clears throat> it's cringe, Phoenix. I've just, I've, I've, I've heard never, it before. It's just, I've I'm never, not even keep hearing I've it. I've never went on Tumblr ever in my motherfucking life, nigga. Never? Never, nigga. Tumblr's the shit. I'm not, I'm not that it. horny. I'm nah, not but Tumblr horny. wasn't just that. Tumblr was like Tumblr a whole aesthetic thing. Porn. Yeah, it's Tum- porn, yeah. but it was like Tumblr was a very visually aesthetic like uh, platform. So it was all about videos and it was all about pictures and just making things look interesting. But yes, there was also porn as well. But it was like I didn't artsy. find that until later. Tumblr was artsy. It was artsy. Yeah. It was what Instagram tried to be at very first. Yeah, it was really like a way better version of House Instagram. decor and then titties. Yeah. Yes. Was, yeah, but like artsy yes. titty pictures. Artsy titty pictures, yeah. Right. Correct. That shit is very hilarious, well nigga. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, at the same time. I don't give a fuck. Uh, and hugging. <laughs> the, feds, the feds have charged former heavyweight boxer Goran Gojic uh, for trafficking 22 tons of... Uh, of cocaine, which is estimated street value of one billion dollars worth of You're a dummy cocaine. bitch. He was trying you to get paid. You will never know shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. God. If that's the, this is what you got. The time you got caught. So they always fuck off the estimated street value. So it's, it was never a billion dollars. It was probably like half that, but still. I, I don't know. Nigga. I, I didn't buy a lottery ticket. How they, how they, how they really? Fuck, I forgot to buy a lottery. How they uh, usually calculate is they go by like yeah. what the individual user will pay, so the, end, the like the end person, like the person who buys the fucking gram, and they just count it towards every single gram that's available in that key. And they're like, ah, oh, it's worth a billion. It's like realistically, that shit was probably worth you know a couple hundred million, but still, still a lot, a lot, still a lot of cocaine. Nigga, Twenty-two tons is a lot of cocaine. Basically, he's not ever getting out of prison ever. He's right. done. Where did he get? He, caught, he got caught in the, in the states. Way to go, Pablo! He got uh, caught yeah, in the states. Fed, yeah, feds arrested him. Oh yeah, he's he's smuggling in the out. U.S. Yeah, he's never getting out. Trying yeah, to be mini Pablo and shit. Out. He is never fucking. Fuck you thought out. you was. Out of pocket for that shit. <laughs> Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? <laughs> if I did, not may God murder oh my children. My I don't even. <laughs> I hate. <laughs> oh my. Kevin Gates, you are a wild motherfucker, B. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh man, I'm sick of these hip hop niggas. Oh my god, man. I don't give a fuck. What else we don't give a fuck about? Dwayne Wade Dwayne Wade's ex wife accuses him of exploiting his transgender gender daughter for I, money. I hope this isn't true. First of all, I hope this is not Dwayne true. Dwayne Wade is worth a hundred and twenty million dollars. I do More not think that. he is I think that's like what his current net worth is listed at. Um he does not that shit don't mean need that. to expose yeah. like he wouldn't do that. Like that doesn't make sense. I think he's just Doing what his daughter wants him to do, like as, as requested. That's some evil. This is what his daughter wants. He's obliging. <clears throat> In their plea to the judge, she claims the NBA star is exploiting their daughter for financial income. Funches Wade says during a conversation in April, Dwayne told her a lot of money had been made already, and that additional money will be made in relation to our child's name and gender issue. He told me that. The internet, no, he intended to make our child very famous due to the name and gender issue and also informed me that there would be endorsements and contracts associated therewith. So, 
But him stating it doesn't mean that, that there's ever like a alternate agenda, like hidden agenda behind him doing it. You know what I mean? He's just like, hey, with him coming out and we know wanting to be who he is, there's going to be some perks to this. Right. Right? Then, like, right? Like, right. I'm playing devil's advocate. However, however, this was a bitter breakup. Baby mama. Bitter break. Oh, you ain't going to give me no more money? Okay, right. bet. Right. You know how baby mama's act. That, that seems... That nigga gay. He fuck kids. Right. Yep. That nigga sell drugs. What homegirl say to about that one rapper? Oh, man. That nigga don't take care of his kids. Bitter baby mama say a lot of wild, unfound truth. And I'd rather them, I'd rather that stay, that stay business. What Dwayne Wade do with his kids, that's none of our business. If he, right. if 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 Dwayne Wade did go out there and he did get Zaya Wade, you know, endorsements and all that shit like that, I mean, what parent won't get their kids endorsed right. and all that shit, right? Right. And 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 there was no real uh, entrepreneurship malice like that. Like he no, there was no entrepreneurship on uh, behalf of Dwayne Wade's kids. So. The initiative came from, hey, you're now changing and you're becoming, you know, like a like a uh, a leader of a community, I guess, right? A, a, a or, spokesperson, a, a, a or maybe this is what his daughter wants to do, and these companies right. have approached him you know about I mean? it, like, exactly. hey, we'd like to do this, and his daughter says anyway, that just she wants it. to do it. Then, you know right. what I mean? Like, she's an ambassador. He's helping ambassador. his There you go. Yeah, she's helping an, his daughter navigate this. You know, I'm not. I'm not a parent. Uh, at all, so I can't, you know, tell you what another person is doing with their kids. If like, your I, kid I, I, was I transitioning, the best intentions. if your kid, if your kid was transitioning, right, right. If any of your kids was transitioning, but you were a rich man and you were a famous man, and motherfuckers, you're already, you're already in a in the limelight. You're already, you're already a transition. You already approve of your kid's transition. Hallmark's coming, calling. They they want to make a car. With, come on, baby, come on, let's go. Uh, Adidas want to do a uh, come on, let's go. But I'm not making my child do anything. Making, like that, that they, yeah, that making, they don't want. Right. I'm not forcing. No, I'm right. saying That's if different. my child doesn't want to do opportunity it, opportunity. But if my child is, does not want to do that and does not want themselves to be out there, that's, in that's that the manner, argument. You know, what I mean, is she saying that he was making them? That's yeah. That's the difference. Yeah, I I, I honestly don't believe Zaya don't believe Wade that. was pressured. It seems like they have a phenomenal relationship. Already, yeah. so it doesn't seem like that would be the case. And man, right. I, you know, again, I'm not there behind closed doors, so I don't know what's really going on. But from what it looks like, I wouldn't assume this has this holds much water. I agree. <laughs> and for that, I don't give a fuck. Correct. All right. Oh man, what an episode! Looks like we got through it all. Pause. Uh, <laughs> y'all got anything else? No. That's nope. This was a long one. That's that's uh this buy our buy some merch, oh, man. It's cool. getting cold. We want to see hoodies on y'all hoes. It I is about to be hoodie season, though. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. I just said that it was a long one, and I said pause. Oh. We got to get that out. Paul, oh, right, you know what? All right, <laughs> all right, you know what? All right, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I wasn't very spicy this episode. We're so out of here again. Of right uh, <laughs> again, um, we appreciate y'all for tuning in, uh, chilling with us, smoking with us, Fuck drinking y'all. with us, doing drugs with us. We appreciate y'all. Oh, we, we love, love y'all. we love y'all, motherfuckers, man. You're a dummy, bitch. Don't do uh, real drugs. Never know shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. Uh, again, uh, like, share, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, you know, we appreciate y'all support. Ah, uh, big time. Um, yeah. highly culture pod. Wherever you get your podcast, it's everywhere. Uh, Spotify, Pandora, App, Apple Music, iHeart, iHeart. We're every fucking, fucking where, everywhere. man. We are everywhere. Highlyculturedpod.com for the merch. Mm-hmm. Highly Cultured Pod on Instagram. Highly Cultured Pod every fucking where. <laughs> do 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 do. Highly Cultured. Uh, Sneaker in the future? Highly cultured weed in the future.
strand that that's coming one. up. Highly cultured OnlyFans. It's the brand. Oh, no, it's no, going no, away. No, no. It's Highly coming. Mm-hmm. OnlyFans. Uh, uh, nigga, it's a, it's uh, a two to uh, one. It's a two to one uh, majority uh, vote, nigga. Shut up. Uh, it's going to be OnlyFans. We're going to have some pussy fans. on this shit. No, We're going to have bitches on here pop, popping their pussy and no. making that motherfucker fart. Shut up. It's it been fart. a pleasure. No, no, no. I am your host, Lee. You can follow me on Instagram at Butler underscore underscore Lee. This is your man, Phoenix. You can find me on all social media at that guy, Phoenix. Remember to tune in twitch.tv slash beat stars. You better win, too. You better fucking win. We're kicking your ass off. It's Rye Rye. Go ahead and follow me on IG. No it's Rye Rye Davis. No, we're kicking your ass off. And uh, stay high. And stay culture. Hugging, gripping and hugging the dick, no making it grip and fart, grip and fart. We had the culture, gotta talk to the culture. Yeah. Greatest remarks on the net, they gon' have to give us respect, yeah. Cause we had the culture.